Let's pay homage to who? Well, let's talk about that. Now you take that varsity job. It's, you there. You know what I mean? What's the team looking like? What's Nashville looking like? It's, you know, this your first year. There. What we looking like? Well, how y'all looking? What so, situation you coming into? So here's the crazy part. When you get your opportunity, hmm. you take it. It's almost like yeah. being a director of a movie. Right, right, when right. When you are right. acting a movie, guess what? The director tell you, I want you to do this. And you might be like, oh, I want to do my role like that. But that's what I want. Mm. When you become the director, you get to say, I want these colors. I want this. So when Coach Mayfield re resigned, he didn't leave the cupboard there. Mm. But there were some pieces that I thought should have been done a different way. Right, right. It, it was a tough gig for me because yeah. understand, when you in Suffolk, this is just like in anything. Right. It's just like if you start coaching... What is the first thing on somebody say? You can win a state title. Guess what they're going to say? The first thing they're going to say. <laughs> what? When did you play? Right, right. So right, I'm saying? Right, they right. start believing that you had to play at this high level, level. Mm -hmm. to win. And if you do your history, there's not too many coaches that did that. That did yeah. that. You got awesome. Steve Kerr. But when Magic Johnson tried it, what happened? Couldn't get it. It was a fail. Yeah, if he Jordan didn't, tried to yeah. coach, you know how? Because you don't know how to deliver the game to everybody because you just did it from your perspective. right. right. People don't get that. Right. That's why Phil Jackson won. He was a journeyman. Right. He learned every position, every role. Right. So when I got my opportunity, Coach Mayfield had this dude named Terrence Wilson playing the four. Okay. He had this guy named Anthony Jones. Uh, that's why I got me put in my top, but he won't be in the bookie. But he was nice. He was a man child. Really? He'd been playing on Boston since ninth grade. We call him. So um, he was what? McDuffie like? Up and, yes, up and unders, all that. Mm -hmm. We call him fast rep, right? Mm -hmm. He's still around. He's my boy, Anthony fast Jones. Yeah. <laughs> so he had him playing <laughs> Some the other the 80s, yeah. boy. He had him playing the other post. Yeah. Right? And then he had um, Maurice Riddick. No, no. He, I'm sorry. He didn't have Maurice Riddick. Maurice yeah, yeah. Riddick went to Lakeland. Oh, he was at Lakeland? He was at Lakeland. He had left us. He went to Lakeland because Nashville was so loaded with players. Okay. So, okay? Yeah. so Troy Garwin, I found him on the back rows of Chuckatuck. Damn. Gave him some sneakers and trained him during the summer. It's just like, who is that big boy? I gave a girl a tennis lesson and so on. She's like, oh, that's somebody. He live in Pewsville or something. Balesville. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I pulled him up to the car and said, son, you play basketball? He said, yeah, I'm at Yates right now. I said, not anymore. <laughs> yeah. Not anymore. Yeah. Started training him. So this was, he knew me from ninth grade being on JV. So long story short, I get the job. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Terrence Wilson, I saw with his back to the goal, he was not effective. Mm. I moved him to the three. So imagine he's six six, mm. but he grew to be six eight mm. that same year. So it's tough being the head coach when the head coach is still in the school. Right, right. He still got influence. He still got influence. Yeah. So imagine every morning I come into school, I see all the players they going standing there. around Coach Mayfield. Yeah, they're going there. Right, and I handled it the right way. I handled it with dignity. I was just like, "Good morning, Coach. What up, Rat?" Especially Rhett. Rhett been with him since the night. You gotta give it you to expect him. that. You gotta give it to That's him. That's loyalty, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So I couldn't be like, yo, you ain't going to be around here. You got to come yeah, to me. What yeah, kind of mess yeah, is that? Yeah, yeah. I started handling it. Yeah. So Rhett came in and said, hey, one day he came to play and said, hey, I need to play the three. I was like, where he get that idea from? <laughs> so I knew where he got that idea from. Sure. Yeah. So I was just like, hey, I can handle this by saying, being brave and saying, you're not. I said, well, look, man, we got some plays for you, but uh, I can't let you just play the three. You're too valuable. You with what you do. Up. He yeah. was the fast rep was a point four was for they was calling it that. Yeah, yeah, okay. He was could step out, he had a push little three, but he could make it. He could put it on the floor, give you up and unders. He could when you set back picks, he could make the right pass. Mm. He was that kind of guy. So he had he, a natural natural feel for that game. So he bought in and we used to have this high low, he threw it up to Terrence Wilson, he get the dunk. And then Maurice Riddick saw what we was doing. Maurice Riddick had played for me J V. Right. He nailed 6'3". He said, Coach, I'm coming back to play for you at Nassau River. Mm. Moved into our zone. That was that same year you came in. Mm. And, and, and we made we made noise. We made noise until we played Booker T. What was the toughest thing you would say uh, was coming into that season? You know you say people was trying to question you as your ability. Did you play and shit? But what, was, what would you say was your toughest thing coming into that? Y'all not going to expect this. Um... <laughs> when I tell you this, having a seed on his way. Wow. Wow. When did you find the coach, out? coach, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, October. Mm. So October. You, so look, we having practices six in the morning, evening practice, 
Saturday. Mm. I'm letting dudes come in the gym on Sundays and just bowl. <laughs> Guess why? Because my mind could stay occupied. Right, right. Because when my right. mind wasn't occupied, I'm, my, I'm getting stomach yeah, cramps. Yeah, that shit real. It's, it's only, real. Yeah. Well, you got to see. And I'm in denial that I got this kid on his way. Would you know my little son who now yeah. 24? How about Shout that? Out Teron, yeah. Teron, my man, yeah, sure. graduated from University of North yeah. Carolina, Charlotte. Yeah. You know, did his thing at C D Hilton. So that was the toughest thing. Um, navigating coaching. People didn't even know I was sweating because yeah. I'm now starting thinking I'm about to be a daddy. Mm. Come on. Nah, you know, if anybody been a daddy, we get selfish. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. We don't say it, but we get selfish. We start going. Where am I supposed to get all, all this my money shit. from? Yeah, all my stuff me, about me, me. to go. Me, me, me. No I was like, this dude going to be like, because I'm thinking about how selfish <laughs> I was. <laughs> now he going to want sneakers. And, all this you know, shit. But it was all the best thing that happened to me because it grounded me. Because anybody, no man, you ain't anywhere else. These things right here, I ain't mind this at <laughs> any time. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. You say the wrong thing, I'm you say my mouth. mama, let's get it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's only one way it's going in. You down on me. Let's get it. You know what I'm going saying? at you, girl. And so that made me grind because I said, I can't keep doing this. I got to be a little more right. tempered. You know? How old was you at this time? Uh, then you could, yeah, 31. Come, 31. First job. 31. Damn. First job. Where I'm at. And I'm in the thing. paper. You, you know, I don't look 56 now, so mm-hmm. imagine 31. Yeah. You know, I'm looking like yeah, I'm supposed yeah, to be in the school. Yeah, yeah. I'm walking in with the team. They's like, you can't come into the coach come in. And I'm like, I'm the coach. They were like, oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? So it was it was cool. Yeah. But um, when we when we played Indian River and we beat them at their home, yeah. that was our first year in AAA. Um, Fred, Freddie Spellman was the coach. Yeah, yeah. Deshaun Nichols was the shooting guard. Right, yeah, that's that's what they said. These dudes have arrived. Right, that's then fine. we played Booker T and they beat us by 21 in our gym. Hmm. Ran us out of there. And who they had? See, I'd be a uh, gray. Now I'm coming there. They had this. This right after Mike Evans. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, so uh, they had this boy named, his last name was Gray. I know that he was supposed to went to Charleston Southern. He did go there. Mm. Then I think he ended up playing with Chris of Newport. Then they had a seven foot five boy. <laughs> Y'all should see the story. The shot gave seven him some foot sneakers. Five. Seven foot five. But he couldn't run the floor. First uh, time he, he, he worked the Where paint. the hell was he from? In Norfolk. God. He was from Norfolk, man. They well, was, we do got and to then talk he had him. three guards. Yeah. One of the guards, he was the coach for Wilson for a while. He Kenny was, Brown. Yeah, Kenny Brown. Was it Kenny Brown? Not, not the Taylor coach, no. No, okay, my fault. Oh, yeah, he yeah, was yeah. at Wilson recent when they was winning. I forget his name, but I know he played on that Booker T. Know, then right. they had this dude, light-skinned dude named Red. But they ran us out of the gym. They were just tougher. Right, right, right. And you know what I did after that game? Every, I'm a little crazy. Every practice, before they practiced, I showed that tape. I didn't even <laughs> think we'd see him again. Right. But I showed that tape. And it was like, we gotta watch this again. They'd be in study hall. I put in that tape. I want them to see every time we won a game, don't get cocky. We lost to yeah. 21 of them. Yeah. And who would know we win the district? Right. We make it to the regionals. We knock off Tallwood first. John first Cole, year. First year. We knock off Tallwood. They had Terrell Taylor. Mm. And they was priming Terrell Taylor how good he was. And I put this young boy in I just talked about Troy Garwin who wasn't ready, but he was as big as Terrell Taylor. Right. So Terrell was used to backing people in. I said, nope, not tonight. I got one. You got to play this dude. And mm-hmm. it put him out of his comfort zone. He started missing shots. Fast Red started doing his thing. Maurice Riddick started making mm-hmm. threes. Vernon Woodson, who wasn't a scorer, he was our utility guy. Defensive, tough, played football at Hampton University for a while. Mm-hmm. We just mixed it up. We ended up beating. Hard. And then we went to the Final Four. Mm. And who we look up and we got Booker T again. So you know what most people say? If Mike Tyson knocked you out the first time, oh, he gonna, get he you, gonna yeah. knock you out the second time. They ain't know that we've been watching that film, realize that Mike Lee with his 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 left, and I can need to slip that and catch him with a kidney blow mm-hmm. and then come up with an overhand left. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And that's what we did. Got busted Douglas. We, kept, it, we don't think we blew him out. We just kept it close. Right. I kept telling him every time out, I say, they beat us by 21 last time. We've gotten better. We down by three. Mm-hmm. I said, just keep playing, keep playing. Basketball, the entire game is nothing but playing pickup hmm. until the last four minutes. <laughs> Yo, what's up with the young world? Look, man, it's Frank Lou here, man. I need y'all to do me a favor. I need y'all to do me a favor. Grab your phone and then go to the YouTube app. All right? At YouTube, hit search and type in must achieve greatness. All right? Must achieve greatness. If you don't know how to spell it, ask Google or Siri. They got you. Look, once you go onto the page, go ahead, hit the page, hit the link. Go ahead, hit subscribe, man. Like all that king shit we got going on there. All right? Y'all stay tight then with the king, man. Holla at me. People don't know that. That's why right. it's it's a game of runs. Right. I always believe the last four minutes when it becomes critical, you have to decide who can help you at this time. Right. 
don't turn the ball over, um, attention to details, and you're going to win the game. If you look at most of the time, that's when somebody throws something stupid, shoot the ball. I just saw a Virginia State game last night. They was down by one, and the dude shot a three-pointer. <laughs> did he need a three-pointer? No, he needed a bucket. He, need a, he did, just need a layup, right? That's it. 15 seconds. Once he shot that and they got the rebound, the game is now over. They get to go shoot free throws. They're up by three, right. clock in. Just that one decision. So I always know it's the last four minutes. They were up by one, and it was our ball. Hmm. And I knew it. I said, the grown man is going to win this game for her. That's fast red, Anthony Jones. They expect to be Terrence Wilson because – he was lofty. Right, he was 6'8". Six six eight. Eight. Yeah. He looked being looked at by Florida State. Mm. So he getting all of the, the press. Right. He ended up playing for Mount, Mount St. Mary's. But Rhett wasn't getting that press. Right, right. And then Rhett, we ran this play that we called Triangle. And Rhett gets it at the top. And Maurice slips his man gets in front of him. They give it to Maurice. He just tried to shoot it right in front of the goal. I just, once again, knowing your players. Maurice is talented. But at the end, he's like, that last jump shot, do you want LeBron or Kevin Durant? Right, right, right. Right? I know he talented, but LeBron might miss that three. Right, right. Kevin Durant will not. Yeah, yeah, And so yeah, yeah. I said, instead of you letting Terrence shoot it, I said, once you dump it to Terrence, I want you to slip to the basket. Terrence, give it to Rhett. I said, I'm going to tell you when to do it. At 10 seconds, go to work. You can't do it at five and mess up. Hmm. Do it at 10 seconds. Hmm. They ran it at 10 like clockwork. Maurice dumped it off to Terrence. Terrence gave it to Fast Rent. Fast Rent hit it to Terrence. He had like he was going to shoot it. Rent slipped. They gave it to him. He did an up and under. Boy jumped. And Rent shot it. And it went in. And the whole place ran on the court. Dude, they run it on the Crazy. court. I'm not making this up. I'm grabbing kids, tossing them over chairs. <laughs> because... I think we can get a technical yeah, 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 from it, the yeah. whole team. Yeah. I'm like, what are you doing? Because Ruby's like, get him off the court. You're going to get a technical. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to yeah, lose again. We nailed yeah, by one. Right. I'm like, move. Yeah. And bless our Frankie Chapman. Shout out Frankie Chapman. Was yeah. my JV coach. Wow. Frankie Chapman was my JV coach. Wow. And Frankie Chapman was like, coach, what are we going to do here? He won. He said, put stretch in the game. Troy hadn't. He played a little. But Troy had a seven-foot wingspan. He was only 6'6", but he could touch his knees standing straight up. So we put him on the oh, ball, fuck. and my man threw the ball, and he couldn't see over him. They knew he had to throw it down long, yeah. and it went out of bounds. It never touched anyone. So who gets the ball? We do. Right. We know the game is over. We told him just throw it up the stretch. He got the ball. I'm not making this up. Booker T is punching him in the face, and he ain't letting go of the ball. He caught the ball. It's like three seconds. They like this. Bah! And he like, <laughs> he just, he, I said, yo! <laughs> and, and the clock goes yeah. zero, man. Right, and we right. knocked him off. And I and Charles Christian came over to me, man. And I was humble. I could have said, no, you was going for... Uh, right, right. Who was my man that coached uh, at Norfolk State with him? His wife was just be on the radio. I'm looking right at her. Uh, I'll get it before long. You know, I got old. I forgot more mm. than I remember. But uh, we was in the finals. And Charles came in and said, congratulations, Charles Christian. I said, thank you, coach. And then Paris Carson, all these guys are makers. All these guys are mentors I looked up to. Right. Coach Mayfield calls me the next day. You did it, boy. That's a great feeling. It's yeah, called that. Yeah. Right. And then I, we right. lose. And then we lose. <laughs> you know, it lasts just a certain period of time. Right. We lost to Hampton Howe with the legendary. Uh, Ronald Curry, huh? Yeah, Ronald Curry, but the coach was legendary. Um, uh, I don't forget his name. Uh, Brower. Brower. Coach mm. Brower. Beast. He had one with Johnny Story. He had been just mm, yeah, he so been tight. He he could yeah. go. He had dudes went to UNC, and so we lost by four. And we had Ronnie Curry with four fouls, and I don't think we should have lost the game. But I'm not gonna call no shiggity. I'll mm -hmm. just say Ronnie Curry couldn't get his fifth foul for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the Curry. game for some reason yeah, he yeah. could knock somebody over, and it was yeah. just like incidental yeah, contact. Yeah, yeah. And then we went to state and lost to the the legendary Mike uh, uh, Coach Lawson at Petersburg High. Mm. Um, and then he had coach Moses Malone. Yeah. He, who, who he coached from? He coached Moses yeah, Malone. Yeah, That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. He rests in. So his his son is now the AD at that same school, Petersburg High. But you know, I was just around. Yeah. Pioneers of the game, and I was like this young dude. Right. And so I, you know, for me to go to state my first year. That's what I was about to say. How yeah. was that? How was that? What do you? You you had to stay grounded because you started. I started thinking when I first started. I went seventeen and zero and eighteen and one. Right. Right. I'm gonna start saying this game easy for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and just like Shashevsky, I started realizing you can't win without talent, though. Facts. But once you get talent, 
then you have to have people that believe in what you're saying. What you're saying. Right. And then after that, you got to have toughness. Mm. You can have all the time in the world. If they get hit in the mouth and they go, take me out, you ain't going to win. Mm. That's what I knew when I got to, when we get there, when I got to the end of the room, I knew that when we go play Norfolk schools, yeah. I got, they're gonna have dudes like that. Yeah, yeah. Was scared. was that uh? Let's talk about that though. As far as like um, could you did you know like because you coach in different areas? Could you tell by the area you was going into what type of kids you were dealing with, or did did it take you a minute, like or probably a week or so? This gonna sound crazy. Of course, Suffolk I knew right. because I grew up there, so I knew if you said you were from the park, I know what I was getting. Right. But I knew coming with the park was gonna come with something else too. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah, gonna yeah, come yeah. with a little lack of discipline at times. Right. But because I knew them. And I was never afraid to go in nowhere in the hood. I used to go mm. in Jericho and get my dudes out of the little barbershop. Like, yo, they ain't going to be up in here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. They're <laughs> like, what coach doing over here in the middle of the night? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's just how it went. But um, once I, my second year at Nancy River, I'll just go back to that. We went 10 and 10. Mm. Troy was young. Right. Okay. Um, they felt like, like they always felt, in a way, I'm a tennis guy. Mm. So I was waiting for, you know, a little crack in the glass. So the new principal that was there was just like, they're going to go in a different direction. This is your second year? This is my second year. Wow. Yeah. Um, I just got coached a year before that. Right, right, right. I had no plans of leaving, but yeah. the principal brought me in and said, you can stay the tennis coach, but we go in a different direction for basketball. Mm. I could apply. He said I could reapply an interview. That didn't make no sense. Yeah. Why am I interviewing for a job I already got? Yeah, right, you know right, what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I took the high road. And, and chill, and my mom do so. It's like, well, at least you got a teaching job. I said, I'm not going back to Nazareth. Yeah, not like so that. So I'm gonna get on a, I'm gonna get on a horse, and that's why I said connections. Milan Brown, my man, assistant coach with University of Pittsburgh, right now with Capel. Mm. He was a coach at Mount St. Mary's. Mm. He makes a phone call and tells me there's a job open in in Alexandria. I said, mm, Alexandria, where is that? Yeah. He said, close to D.C. So, I, you know, I'm in my comfort zone. I ain't right. gonna leave. Yeah, yeah. He said, yo, they got like. 14 or 15 applicants, man, they're about to close it, but I think I can get you in. I thought about it, and I said, all right. Then I used my connections. I met Craig Esserick during a period of time, and I said, go up there and talk to John Thompson. When I had a 6'9 kid named Tremaine Bunch, who was mm. a little country dude, I knew he took big men and could work with him. Right. He got this boy to Voorhees for me. Mm -hmm. So Craig Esserick was a guy that I went to dinner with, was talking with. Mm. So Craig is now the head coach of Georgetown. Mm. I called him and said, can you... Uh, I always remember who you know a lot of times. Mm -hmm. He faxed over a recommendation letter to T.C. Williams. I get the interview. Now it's my job. When did you realize it was T.C. Williams? Hmm? When did you realize you was interviewing because you said the job was in Alexandria? Right. When you realized it was T.C. Williams? Well, Milan was, gave me all the background. He's like, T.C. Williams, the only school in Alexandria. Mm. He, the movie hadn't even started. Right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It won't Because this was 98, 99. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. he was just like, the movie, he was just like, it's a great job. It's the only school in Alexandria. So I'm yeah. thinking, only school in Alexandria means I'm getting all the talent. Yeah, 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 yeah. What he felt to tell me was there are like a whole bunch of private schools around there. Uh, and so they, they be, picking and blah, 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 blah. They picking yeah, some of the yeah. guys. You know, they meet them at the rec mm -hmm. and meet the street guy who mm -hmm. like, you should come over there and play at Paul the Six. Six, and, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they was killing yeah. me. Uh, Catholic, um, yeah. Paul the Six, O'Connell, um, they were killing me the most. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Dematha. I ain't worried the about them as much. They got a couple, but right. it was there. And then Gonzaga. They had another Gonzaga, Gonzaga Prep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, I got the interview, and I sold myself. I came in with a little 13-inch television, put in the same game I told you, you know, Hampton yeah. against um, us. And uh, they saw it. I said, instead of me telling you what how I coach, you could see it. Right. And um, they said, it's your job. Mm. And I said, I was relocating. I got into Washington Post, and there was, I was like, who is this guy? Right. And of course, it shocked the people in Suffolk because yeah, I'm the tennis guy. guy. Yeah, yeah. I'm the tennis guy getting another basketball job and then it's bigger. Right. And I think that's what I needed. Sometimes you got to leave home and then come back. <laughs> get a little yeah, uncomfortable, huh? Yeah, yeah get a little yeah. uncomfortable. And yeah. um, when I left him with the T.C. Williams, they were just like, what? And people were calling me like, this is incredible. How was it when you first get up there to T.C. Williams and you you the coach, you on campus? How was it? I can't tell you. Let's when I first get there, let's just say it was great mm. because TC Williams loved their basketball. They loved their sports. Mm -hmm. So when I got there, I was just meeting people. <laughs> um, rest her soul, Paula. She my my man, um, um, D. Mm. Um, I sung at her wedding. Um, but Paula was my girl. Yeah. I didn't know if a can of paint, but I was in there lost, right. trying to ask how I get back to TC Williams from the human resources. Yeah. And I said, I'm the new uh, head basketball coach. I'm talking to somebody, a clerk, and she goes, black man. Yeah. <laughs> 
you that got this in the paper? <laughs> and I never get we became friends of that. Yeah. She said, yo, I'ma show I'ma drive you around. She took me to every wreck. Now I got some stuff to tell you. I'm gonna make wow. a mess. She took me to every wreck. She said, if you don't know where to go until you learn it, call me. I'll follow you. I'll drive you. Wow. And she did. And then she started dropping where the best players come from. Charles Damn. Houston wreck. You gotta get them from Core Kelly. Wow. You don't want to mess with Patrick Henry that much. They ain't tough. Yeah. She broke stuff down that I didn't even know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh so everything was good until yeah. the season started. Hmm. People feed me. Yeah. I'm eating. Of course, it's not. It wasn't not our people that right. was calling me the problem. It yeah. was our people mm. that was causing me the problem. Mm. The people that want our people were still giving me love. Right. The indigenous people like, well, why they hire this little short dude? You know right. what I'm saying? Why they bring him here? Right. So I knew I had to make a name really quick. And I had a kid named Anthony Campbell. And what did it when I brought Darian Towns on the team? He was a ninth grader. Mm. The culture up there, if you're in the ninth grade, you play freshman. Straight up, you're going down. The culture where I come from is if you can play varsity, you play in varsity. You play in varsity. I don't you're care what up. grade you're in, yeah. if it's eligible. If you've been in eighth grade, you was 6'6", six, six, and I just saw the boy, how he was just blocking shots. Could he shoot? No. Right. We can get to that, but he in the ninth grade. Right. He ain't even learn how to... And he's going at it. He, he time. I watch this dude playing with a game boy while the game going on. Then hand it to the dude, run down the floor, block a shot, didn't care about no offense, and then go back and play the game. <laughs> He's doing open gym. What? He Are you serious? I'm not playing the game. I was like, yo, man, get back on the court. Okay, so don't mess up my game, man. Run the court, do give it a shoot, block it. They, <laughs> Jason Ingram and them going back the other way, shooting, and he go back and play the game. So I said, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I <laughs> got something. Yeah, I can work I got with something yeah, yeah. Of course, the, his second year there, we won the, my. First regional title, and I got coach of the year again. And I went to the state two years out of my four years. Let's talk about that first year, though. What yeah. did you inherit on that floor? How did you look on that team when that when that roster? You see them boys well, coming it, in. It was just like I said. I cleaned house and, and I changed the culture of what they were used to. So when I get there, they're telling me some mm. of the people are telling me who was on JV, who was already on varsity. Mm-hmm. But I've always been a leader. I don't I don't care what you saying. Right. Guess who's gonna tell me who's gonna be on varsity? That ball. Right, I got to see. Yeah, when yeah. that ball hits the floor, you're going to yeah. see you're going to be on varsity. Right, right, you ain't got to right. tell me nothing. In fact. So when I started doing open gym, I noticed that the freshmen and all the JV dudes that were juniors could ball better than some of the dudes that were seniors. So here come the back, the backlash, except Anthony Campbell. He was a senior, and DJ McLaurin, my dude, um, went to Rafford. Mm. DJ McLaurin was a senior, and I had another dude, some Ashley Chandler, but I'm just naming the ones that played a lot. But yeah. Anthony Campbell was the horse horse. He right. was senior. senior. But it was some other dudes was like, he cut me. Right. How are you going to cut me and I'm a senior? You messing me up with getting a scholarship. But your thing will always, if, if he's a sophomore and he's better than you, <laughs> I'm cutting the senior. <laughs> that who nigga got, knew that you shit. Saying, who has more time <laughs> yeah. to with me? You used to always you know say saying? that shit. So, you... But really, I didn't really mean that like that. Yeah, yeah. But I said it because I wanted that dude to be hungry, stay hungry. Right, right. Now, if you can't fight through what I just said, then you, I really don't need you. You're right. You, you really I really gotta, don't need you. You really yeah. got to go. I don't go. need that senior. You really got to yeah. go. And so that year, we knocked off Robert E. Lee. And Robert E. Lee had a kid... I hope you can remember his name. He was called the Baby Bubba Chuck. He he was a leading scorer in the nation when he went to um, George Washington. Uh then he transferred. To, uh, did he transfer? Uh uh-uh. uh He came out of high school from Robert E. Lee, and he went to G. J. M. M. Uh, but I no, think you talking about George I, Washington. G. W. The guard. He was, he was, was like two. Was like, I think um, he was a shooter. He was ja, a shooter. Uh, Damn. We'll get it. Anyway, they had him and another ja, tall dude. I can't think. All right, he went to, Somebody hmm. might might uh, tell us later. You can Google, Google the dude uh, played for Robbie Lee that went to GW. Tell us. I think I know you're talking but, about. But uh, this Bama, okay. Mm-hmm. So this Bama um, gave us like 25, but we beat him. And everybody went silent. Like, this dude can coach. Then the next game, we played Centerville, and we lose. Hmm. And they was heckling me. I was going to the bus. <laughs> I heard somebody was like, you know... They don't know who I am. I heard somebody call me a dumb and mm, this. Mm. And so I was like, you know, I'm going to lead the crowd. Right. I'm, I'm not going on the bus. Right, right, I'm right, going, right. I'm going to find out who. Who talking that yeah. shit. Yeah. Well, my word was always test me then. Mm-hmm. So, you know, he's like, coach, he, coach, coach. And look, I had some dudes from Alexandria that I kept as my coach um, call. He was good dude. Right. And he's like, coach, you ain't got to stoop to that. I was like, oh, I hate that kind of stuff, man. And then we went on a roll. And then, you know, 
it fizzled out. We lost to Robinson or Lake Braddock. They was the teams to beat. And mm -hmm. understand, if we don't school in Alexandria, right. every school we plan is in Fairfax. Mm. I'm the only black coach. Damn. So it's almost How is that? Yeah, how woo! is that? Yeah. This, Every this, gym you're going into you're going is Harrison, hostile. You up there, Harrisonburg. Yeah, you there, all I don't that. want to call it racism, but, but it won't fun-sism. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they like different. they yeah. you know what I'm saying? They like saying we can't let this dude right. beat us. And they serious about that shit. But just like I said, they were predictable. Oh. Mm. They were so predictable. I knew it was going I hate to disrespect them, but I was just like what they do is what they do. Right. So when I told my guys, T.C. Will was used to just pressing and couldn't shoot. Right. I developed what they could do at all. Mm. So by Jason Ingram, like you said, my first year, right. they had a coup mm. against me for bringing down on team. I walk in the gym one day, it's some concerned parents, mm. um, about 13. On some Coach Carter shit. Yeah. Yeah. They, 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 yeah. Some concerned yeah, parents. Yeah, they, 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 they like, it up. They want to know why their son got cut and <laughs> what the plans do I have for them, right. why they not starting. It's like you're just worried about your guys for the next year. Right. And I, you know, I stayed calm and said, I can see how you can look at that because they're juniors. Right. I, and then I gave my thing. I told him, I said, but if he's a senior and he was better than him, <laughs> I he gotta would be go. starting. Yeah. Yeah. I said, but he's not going to start if he's not better than. These juniors, just plain and simple. They said, well, how do you, how do you determine that? Because I'm in the gym with them every day. I said, now they great. That's what people don't understand. If you look at the NBA, don't they always keep some veterans that come off the bench? You got to. You because got to they understand what the game is, but they don't start, right? Because uh, we got these young and more after their legs. It might just right, be better. Right, right. But you keep a veteran because they know how to go in the game and play it the right way. Right. So I, I didn't see what the problem was except, you know, parents. We just want our kids to shine. That's it. So the coup didn't last long. We kept winning. They saw it was going to be over. Their kids graduated. And now I could. Yeah. It was clear. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now I got those juniors and that freshman. Right. Now sophomore. Had a whole summer with me. Hmm. Whole winter. We in the weight room. You know, same thing we do here. We running. We doing all the drills. We putting them in some camps together. We let them play with this guy named um, Judge Dawkins. But we keeping them together. Yeah. And, and how'd that go? Whew. How'd that go for them? Whew. How'd that feel? All of a sudden, they look up, and you know, one of the transfer that went to Paul the Six comes back. Mm. You know, people like to be around right. winners now. Right, right, right. Who don't like to be around right. winner? When did the Richard Hunter and all that stuff come? Well, that, 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 he's not even there. He's not yet. there yet. But he he coming. That's why I knew he was a he was a grown man before he was a grown man. So yeah. as soon as we win that regional title, title. yeah. The place goes bananas. They have like a parade for us. Who y'all get? Who y'all get in the in the championship? Centerville again. Mm. They mm. beat us early. Come right back again. Up by, up by ten at half. Up by ten at half. I hear them going. They just got their number. They better. They long. They can shoot. And we playing at George Mason. And I used to go to Larry Nagel's camp. Larry Nagel's a head coach in Miami. Mm. I used to work his camp every summer. And he gave me uh, some pointers that I use in that game. Mm. He said, 10 points is only five possessions. Mm. It is just mm. twos. He said, right. if you go in there and act like you already lost, then they're going to believe you lost. You the captain. I went in that locker room and they was over there cheering. I said, hush. They're like, mm. Listen, look at them celebrate. I said, them dudes have already beat y'all. Right. I said, but you know what I know? I know they ain't seen our best. And then I went off. Then I did like that. <laughs> then I went off punching lockers. Yeah. Then let's go ahead and play like we can play. Yeah. I said, Darren Towns, I need you to play like you can play. Right now you standing around and he's just a temporary. He's like, what? I said, block everything. Yeah. Block even Jason Ingram's shot if he's close <laughs> yeah, to you. Yeah. Block anything yeah. that's around your yeah. way. And we started pressing up. Huh. And that Darren Towns showed me that he was he was gonna he should have been an NBA player. Right. I've never seen a kid do this in my life. They got on a fast break. Darren ran down the court. The <laughs> boy shot a three. Darren blocked the three. He ran from the post, ran out there before he could get it off, blocked it, saved it, threw it back in bounds to Jason Ingram. They push it down the floor. He gets off the score table, mm -hmm. runs the lane. They throw it back to him, and he dunks it. Oh, this dude could run... From baseline to baseline in six steps. <laughs> I'm not making this up. That's how big he made. One, two, three, four, five. When Jason bounced that ball, they said, where are you going to? 
Boom. Mm. I looked at my coach and said, oh my God. Yeah. We never looked back at that. We ended yeah. up beating them by 10. Right. Got the regional title. They bought us leather jackets. They had a banquet for us. It was unbelievable. Dudes was walking up uh, saying, your summer league's paid for us. Shout out to, <laughs> to my benefactors, Mr. Simpson Construction. You get <laughs> all the skyscrapers All that there. stuff, man. We, you know, we eating at George's Steakhouse. For <laughs> the, the, the mayor, you were on it. It was crazy. My game's coming on Comcast. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was like... I can get used to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know it's different. Yeah, it's different. And uh, we ended up playing Roy Hibbert. Mm, beat shout out Roy to Big Roy. So then Where was Roy at? Where was he at? He was at uh, Georgetown Prep. Ah. And they was a feeder to Georgetown. Right, they were. Yeah, they get so it. So right. I'm now TC Wells, a feeder to Georgetown, Town too. too. See how yeah, that works? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how big business works. Right, right. Those yeah. Those schools yeah. that's around there that you got top players, that's where they're going. Yeah. Richard Hunter sat on the bench and watched all of that. Mm. And I knew Richard Hunter was going to be the man because he handled what I said right. I said, hey, I got to pull you up. I got some dudes hurt. I said, and I just need you in case I need to play you, but I don't think I'm going to play you. Mm. I said, how you feel about that? And he's on freshman. Mm -hmm. I leapfrogged right over JV guard and grabbed him. Right. And he probably said, well, why didn't you have him on JV, right, when he was in the ninth grade like I did Darren on varsity? Mm -hmm. Because my freshman coach hid the dude. Because <laughs> he knew about him. He already knew about him. It's kind of yeah. crazy. When we had trouts, he wasn't there the first day. you know. So now I'm working on... My yeah, varsity, yeah, yeah. but then one afternoon I decided to walk down. We, we got a, like a, a gym downstairs, okay? Because TC Williams' gym is on the second floor. Oh, damn. it's like you get on the elevator, the steps to go to the gym. That's how TC Williams built. Mm. Then on the bottom, it's like your lockers and the barn. We had the barn, had two courts. Okay. So I go down there to check them out. I said, "Who that cat? <laughs> he weaving through them and passing the ball. Didn't shoot the ball that well, but just tough. Right. They said, "Oh, that's Richard Hunter. He wasn't here the first. I don't think he had his physical." Kept looking at him, kept looking at him. I said, you'll come up to uh, uh, practice with us on Saturday. He said, yes, sir. So I, I brought his cousin to Anthony Suggs because he was on JV. Yeah. So I said, let me see if I'm getting it right. So I took both of them, but I was like, that dude can play. Yeah. And I said, you're not going to get no playing time. He said, yeah, but I'm going to learn. Hey, that's when you knew. But, and said. I found out what, Sir Violent Brown. Violent Brown. That was Val Brown. That's it, yeah. Val Brown. That's yeah. What it was. Thank Val you. Brown. Val Brown. Val Brown. Val Brown. He was Lee. unbelievable. Left handed. It was tough. He could 30 points. Hmm. He was GW. They just knew yeah. he was going to go pro. He was the next bubble chuck. Yeah. Yes, sir. So that was that thing. That you put it thing. on, y'all, huh? You put it on. He, yeah. Well, he got his point, but we won the game. Shout out to Coop. He gave me that. He gave me that quick. Who that gave quick. it to you? Coop. He found that out for me. Yeah, all right, Coop. Way to yeah. do it, baby. Yeah, yeah. So then Richard Hunter, his sophomore year. The, the tape y'all make, I used to show y'all yeah, all the time. Hell yeah, the hell metamorphosis yeah. just kicked in. He was in the weight room every day. Where was uh and then Sumter? Uh, where was it when he come in? <laughs> Sumter move. You ready? Sumter's from yeah. Norfolk. Ah, uh ah. -uh. You see Brown? Sumter's yeah, because I see him out here a lot. Yeah, yeah. Sumter's from playing for Granby. Wow. His mama gets a job, move him. He pout don't want to go. He playing football. Hmm. He a football dude. Um, in his tenth grade year, I'm looking at the cat. And uh, so he just tries out for basketball, but couldn't shoot, but he was lanky. So he was playing in a JV game, and Richard is on varsity. Richard's ahead of him. Yeah. Now. But Richard is in the same grade, but right. Richard's on varsity. Right. I'm looking at something, and every time he went out the game, the JV team went down by eight or nine. Mm. I put him, the coach put him back in, they get down by like three or two. He wasn't scoring, but he was block a shot. Get a ball up to somebody else that scored. Right. See, I noticed that other stuff. Yeah, other people just the looking detail. at who put the basket. I said, that dude can rebound. He long. And he just 6'2". So I tell the coach, I said, yo, man, you should play old boy a little more. Mm -hmm. And he was just like, yeah, we'll take a look at him. Mm -hmm. I said, wait a minute. No, 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 no. You need to put dude in more. I'm the boss of the coach. The coach, yeah, yeah, play him. Dude is like acting like this is his program. Like, it's our program, but right. if I make a suggestion, I want to see more of them. That means I need to see him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he had this dude on his team now. You can Google this, Antonio Hunt. I love mm. Moon. Antonio Hunt became the running back for Penn State. Ah. Played for Philadelphia Eagles for a couple of years. Hunt. Um, yeah, Antonio Hunt. Mm. He was built 6'3", had a body. But he just they had that body. He just shot jump shots. Right. And Maurice didn't have no body and did it all. And so I let that year fly, and Antonio mm. came back to trial for varsity. And Maurice, I said, if you stop playing football and play basketball, I got you. You could be a beast. And mm. he went to work. Mm. And he, he, he's, I wouldn't, just like, what them, I wouldn't let nobody wear at any river unless you could play. Oh, that two, three. Uh uh. What? At any river. 
Come on now. What is it? The one. 21. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what Frank yeah, 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 you're right. That Jenk hung up. Mike yeah, Bannon was the next one to wear. Yeah, 21. 21. Yeah, you're right. 21. Ain't and, nobody wear it. Yeah, you're right. Because ain't nobody wear it at the little mic. That's right. Me. Not for me. I ain't have it. So, yeah, I ain't seen nobody yeah. wear that shit at the little mic. So at T.C. Wells, it was 45. Mm. Jason Ingram wore 45, and I ain't had nobody that could put on. When I gave it to Murray, it seemed like it gave him like some powers, like, I got to be good. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he and he went to work. That, that, that Maurice he had, he went oof. crazy. He went crazy. Man, numbers. he used to shoot the ball from the timeline. And he created, I'm going to do, if you come in my gym and you kick the ball in the air and it go in seven out of ten, we're going to make that a play. <laughs> right. Some tall, I think it was white boy, like eight out of ten. That's him. That's, that's, like, so that's Maurice. Yeah. We had practice. I'm brushing my hair. Practice over. He wanted to get some shots up, and he just started messing around with shooting from the timeline. And I'm talking to my coaches, but I'm looking at just like yeah, he was yeah, at, yeah, like yeah. He was one of our coaches. Right, right, you know, right. We sit at the end and like, let him walk So look at him. So I see him make five out of ten. I said, "Yo, do that again." He shoots it this time. He gets seven out of ten. I said, "If you get anything over five, we making this a play." Yeah. <laughs> and I got seven out of ten again. So we had a play where he would just trail the play. Richard Hunter pushing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody collapsing on him. And then he threw it all the way back. They said, where are you throwing it? And Maurice let it fly. D. Bang. Now, you got to check him out there. Right. Now, if you got to check him out there, you got right. Richard Hunter. Right. He can get in space. Mm. So I started getting him that developed pull up at the free throw line. And it was just like it was she wrote. We went, we went to work. I mean, we made it to the regions. We lost. But once again, I got coach of the year. And uh, I became the, one of the top regional coaches. I ended up being on the rock with a kid that went to Stanford, played, a um, kid mm. that went to St. Bonaventure. Mm. Um, it, that was pretty prestigious to be the coach of all but the Was it a big man, the big man that went to uh, St. Bonaventure? Uh, he was a guard. Uh. Um, I'm looking at him left hand. He went to Bishop O'Connor. Mm. So, and then the big man went to Stanford. You know, I mean, up there in Northern Virginia, it's yeah. just, come on, man. Different. You look around the corner as players. We go to Strawberry right. Hill. I saw Mike Beasy before there was Mike Beasy. You know what I'm saying? Just balling. Right. Everywhere you went, there was ballers. Right. Yeah. And the last thing I'm going to tell you about T.C. Wells so we can move on to any River. Oh, That's yeah. We're going to definitely get there. Yeah. David Crawford. Mm. I love me some David Crawford. David Crawford, I make this for David Crawford, when I got to T.C. Wells, was a... I get emotional about this one. Yeah. David Crawford um, was a senior. Mm. Um, never played since the ninth grade. Mm -hmm. This is how they hold stuff on kids. Yeah. During a JV game, David Crawford was waiting for his ride or something. This is the story I got. The police said, y'all need to clear out. He said, I'm waiting on my ride. Right. You know, it's almost like that Fruitville thing. You know, mm -hmm. he's just like, yeah, the fruit like well, you need to go or you're going to get arrested. They said, well, my mama told me to stay right here. I ain't going nowhere. They considered disrespectful. They got his name. They kicked him off the, the, uh, the JV basketball team. Right. He tried out next year. Now, I'm still at Nass River. I don't know him for a can of paint. Yeah, yeah. Um, he tried out. They gave the buzz to not keep him. So they cut him. Now, his hopes is done. His mm. grades drop, plummet. So I get there his junior year. I don't even know nothing about, about him. It, yeah. He just bopping around there. He hanging out with his dudes in Charles Houston, you know, mm. hanging out, yeah, doing yeah. his thing. Um, my assistant coach, I was talking about Carl. Carl says, Coach, man. We need David Crawford. Mm -hmm. I said, who's David Crawford? He tell me, boom, boom. Where's he at? Charles Houston Rec. I walk over to Charles Houston Rec after practice and a red sweatsuit. I don't know if his blood's crippled. Yeah. That was TZ one's red, white, and blue colors. Yeah, yeah. As I'm walking up, these dudes are <laughs> it's so funny. You these dudes are by a bench. I see a tall, lanky dude about six six. Then I see a dude about six four, swole up, and another dude. They got a, a bag. We know what's in the bag, yeah. isn't it? Mm -hmm. And they got the little that's little her. stuff, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And I see him drop it. Now, I didn't know he recognized me because yeah. I don't recognize him. But as I'm getting closer, I say, yo, I'm looking for uh, David Crawford. They say he ball out here. He go, oh, I'm David Crawford. And then we had our little doubt. I said, yo, put that out, man, before you catch the whole place on fire. I <laughs> I saw it. Yeah. We cool. Yeah. He puts it out and I give him my spiel. And I tell him, I was like, I don't even know this dude's from Canada. I'm yelling at the 6'6 six, six dude. I said, man, get this dude a chance, man. I said, just because you don't like school, get us through the change. <laughs> he going to tell that me. <laughs> yeah. But he said, well, I'm leaving out some stuff. He said it to me. Yeah, right, right. He said, TC won't fall me. Right, right, right. He right. said, I dropped out that jank. Yeah. So I was just like, but that don't have to be his story. Right. I said, get us through the chance, yeah. man. Yeah. And I just kept going ham on it. He said, right. 
Yo, it's up to him. Yeah, so yeah. I said, I, this is why I told him, I promise you, if you clean up your act, yeah. you get yourself eligible. Yeah. I got a spot for you. Yeah. He had never heard that. To speed it up, on Saturdays, I said, let him come in the gym. You know, couldn't let him do it during the weekday because he wasn't eligible yet. Yeah, yeah. I said, come in there on the Saturdays, let Carl work him out, get him some shots up when practice is over. And I could see the man child in him. And my AD comes to me and says, hey, they're buzzing saying you holding a spot for a kid. I said, no, I don't hold no spot for no kid. I ain't see but 12 dudes I like mm -hmm. in the school. Mm -hmm. Isn't it crazy? We want to kill the dudes off a of two right. Because somebody on that team see that their time going to cut short. Yeah. That's who probably dropped that, That's what it that, was, that yeah. information. Yeah, they, somebody knew, they knew he was working them out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I already know who it is, but I'm not going to put him on, on the blast. I know which kid he was. He was all right, <laughs> yeah. but he wasn't David Crawford. Right. And David Crawford gets eligible second semester, and I had a dress code. You know, black shoes, khakis, shirt and tie, white shirt, and a yeah. blazer. He ain't had none of that stuff. <laughs> But that day when we got it, and I didn't go buy nothing. That day we was going to go for the weight game. Yo, man, I could have I could have destroyed his confidence if I talk about his outfit. Mm. He had on some khakis, and he had on black Tims. And I said black dress shoes. <laughs> yeah, bro was beat. But yeah. he had on a white shirt, and his tie, he didn't know how to tie it. He had to just kind of loop. Just ball that mother. So I said, yo, what are you doing, man? Yeah, he said, coach, how I look. I said, man, you ain't straight with that tally. I said, take off your jacket. When he took off his jacket, the shirt he had on was up over the knuckle of his, of his so you know that one of his shirt. Yeah, small as Didn't even fit. Yeah. The worst thing I can say, like, where you get that shirt yeah, from? Yeah. Soon as I saw his shirt, I said, yo, man, you straight. <laughs> so let me tie this tie for it, and I'm going to make it loose. All you got to do is take it off, and you'll have it for every game. Yeah. He said, thanks, coach. And he got on the bus. And uh, we get to the game, and my AD, they warming up. And my AD taps him and said, hey, man, I wouldn't start him. He said, because uh, that doesn't look right. These kids have been playing since November, and you starred him. I said, yeah, no, nah, I wouldn't think about starring him. Nah. Jump ball, ball went out of bounds. David. He said, he went out of bounds. I swear to God. Nah, yeah, yeah. I was so good. He did the jump ball. Somebody threw it and went out of bounds. Uh, and David. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say my man's name yeah. there that was worried about his time. Yeah. He couldn't be. He said, what I do? I said, you ain't doing nothing, man. You good. Yeah. Stay warm. Stay warm. Yeah, stay yeah, warm. yeah. yeah. You got to keep him. Yeah. <laughs> stay warm. Stay warm. Go <laughs> put your shoe shirt on. Stay yeah, warm, yeah, man. We coming to right. get you. We coming to get you, baby. Now, how was that for you when David Crawford getting that game? How was it? Oh, shit. Just like I said, Marquise Cook mm. was a grown man while he was a boy. Mm. David Crawford was a grown man that was a grown man. Mm. Wide shoulders. He was built like a... Uh, What's the dude you used to play with the Knicks that was just mean with Charles Oakley? Uh, years later, left-handed, huh? Anthony Mason. Anthony Mason. Uh. This Bama snatching rebounds, stick backs, twenty points, yeah. twenty rebounds. His first game Damn. with no lather. Yeah, yeah. Then let me tell you how hood he was. He went to his locker. He don't have his locker on. He got a knot of money like this. I don't know where he got that money from. Yeah, he had a knot of money. I ain't answer that question. Yeah. But I said, Yo, David, lock your locker, man. Your money's showing. You got money in your pocket. Ain't nobody gonna touch that locker, coach. It says David Crawford on it. They don't touch it. I said, okay. You lose your money. That's on you. David Crawford. Right, David Crawford shit. went to his jeans. Hey, coach, let me buy you some dinner. I said, this dude. <laughs> they ain't mess with his money. Yeah. David Crawford helps us become a beast. And excuse my language, Anthony Campbell, we have a chance to knock off Robinson. Once again, that's one of them schools like the Hoosier school. Mm, Got the money, yeah, rich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They think they can win, and the referees get them a lot of calls. Right, right, right. It's like, you know, you beat Hickory by 30 at home. Mm -hmm. You get over to Hickory, you can only win by 10. Yeah. How is that yeah, different? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same damn team, <laughs> but also we in foul trouble right early. You know how they used to do us, right? Yeah, yeah, I never yeah, used to understand that. I said, yeah, how is there, the same like, team, yeah, nah. and we barely beat these jokers? They grabbing us, sitting yeah, on us with their. You yeah, remember that? They, they sit us with their with their butt on when they act like they falling down when we dive. Yeah, Cause I used to tell y'all dive for balls, right? Y'all dive and they sit on with their butt. I said, oh, they trying to get us to get kicked out. Yeah, yeah, we had yeah, to keep our whole restraint Hickory. while they like mushing us. Then we touch them a little, they get to go to the free throw line because they know they got goals in the yard. They shooting free throws yeah, all game. Yeah, 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 so yeah. David Crawford, we are down by by one point. <laughs> and they found Anthony Campbell and they call a timeout to ice him. And I was going to be like, leave Anthony alone, leave Anthony alone. And David Crawford is crying and he says, hey, Anthony, 
if you miss these free throws, yo, I'm going to punch you in your damn face. <laughs> I've never seen no pep talk like that. Right. I said, yo, David, yo, man, calm down, because David had fouled out. Yeah, yeah. He said, coach, I ain't never want nothing, coach. I want this. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> He said, he said, he said, I want this. He said, he said, don't disrespect me. Yeah. I'm gonna say this one more time. I said, David, turn your ass down there. He's like, I'm punch you, you're okay, okay. You gonna make it. Man, Anthony Campbell, I said, ain't no way he gonna make these. He hit them shit. Man, Cam. that joint didn't even hit the real. <laughs> That joke went through the nets like that joke went through the nets like they was gonna kill his mom after yeah. that. I said, "Oh, sir, David, you say that to everybody." Yeah, yeah. Like, Thank you, coach. And we went on to have a good season. Yeah. Did we win it? No. Yeah. David had a great year, but this is why I say about David Crawford: you never know. Mm. David Crawford ends up going to a, I got him to a junior college in a Runda Mills area. Damn right. He meets his wife. He mm. has a son. And his son either played for Florida State or Florida defensive back. This doesn't happen if David Crawford doesn't get that chance. Yeah, shout out to him. Yeah, he needed that. And you you saw that. What made you see that, you know, to get it? Because, you know, a lot of coaches, you know, they... they... I didn't see that part. I'm going to be honest, selfish. Mm. At that time, I'm going to just keep it real. He could ball. Right. I knew he could help us. What what we was lacking to do that was starting right. was one of them dudes... I'm not saying because Kalal is here, but I'm just saying Kalal's right. smaller than another dude I had that he, it looked like he should have a rebound, and for some reason he would lose it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But when Kalal got it, it was what? Get off me! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's his. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 the other dude that was taller, you know what I'm yeah. talking about. They might knock that Jake out of his hand and get a stick back. And I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But when yeah. Kalal got it, it's his height. He, he get man. his hair out the way. Yeah. He, he had the ball yeah. one hand. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> he gonna he'll throw that jig on down the court and get yeah, on down right. the court. Yeah, he, he, it's a difference. I used to sweat like he was like <laughs> you in the game. He used to sweat like he like was like working on the cotton field for a minute. <laughs> That but he was used to, drenched out there. He was like, drenched out there, Jay. But he was going from the bed and everything. And you asked me anything, thing. yo, Kalau, you like. I'm good, coach. Damn, nah, but he's always been never, like that. But always, bro. He ain't gonna get it to you. This he the athlete, t- athlete of the year, my every year. That's yes, her. He but he great. never was like really so like, let's go. Yeah, he was yeah. never that dude. Nah. He was like, I'm all right, coach. Yeah, everything good. Yeah, we won oh, that game, yeah. coach. Yeah, we It you know was never yeah. <laughs> like, yo, was that excited? He was yeah, like, like, yeah. like we win, he might yeah. be like he like, yeah. he like yo, man. <laughs> yo, nigga, people clap three times at least. Yeah, let me yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta get that nigga. Yeah. I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna mess with him go oh, off. He might, man. he might. What'd you say, coach? Most yeah. people like my bed. He might be like, be yeah. Like, <laughs> no bullshit. Yeah. You gotta watch that nigga. Yeah. So what I'm saying about David Crawford, yeah. it had nothing to do with I saw what was gonna happen with him in the future. I just couldn't understand how a ninth grader is judged on being a ninth grader wow, that long. Wow, you just rolled him off like that. Yeah, yeah, that long. Yeah. So I needed some more information. I right. need to say that he then robbed somebody. Right. He stole some cars. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, give me something. Yo, yeah, yeah. Y'all was killing a young person's hope. Y'all made them hopeless. Because hmm. sometimes if you love something, and that's what I've been seeing some of your stories, this yeah. is what basketball can do to you. Hmm. When that thing stops bouncing, and if you put all... Your everything invested in that, hmm. and you ain't had no other plan. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. It's it, gonna can hurt. Mm-hmm. it can break you. It can break. It can make you for a minute. It's almost like your girl that you thought was faithful. <laughs> you found out she cheated. Everybody mm-hmm. know what that feel like. Oh yeah, man, come on, man. That shit break you. Just related mm-hmm. right now. When nobody looking around, you do cry. <laughs> you, you don't color know. combinate your clothes yeah. well. You know you wearing <laughs> checks with stripes. And a slow song better not come on like, girl, you, you know that. Uh, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, don't let that go. Uh, no, you going to cut that radio off, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah and right. that's how I felt they was doing this dude. Right. That's why he was out there right. self-medicating. Right. He was like, I <laughs> yeah. don't care about that. I don't yeah. need that. Yeah. And then when I gave him hope again, he said, there's no coach that ever said I could play again. I had to get him to play. They was telling me, that's your neck. Yeah. I say, yeah, my neck thick. Yeah, I can handle yeah, it. Let's yeah, go. yeah. 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 And then he did the rest. He put in the work. Yeah. He did everything I asked him to do. And this is a dude, I'm not gonna tell his business, but this is a dude that lived in the household. They act like he lived in the household with a lamp yeah. to go study. This shit, yeah. You know, I used to go pick that dude up, man. I'm stepping over four dudes because mom dude's got a shot house. You know, I'm like, yeah. excuse me. And I gotta wake him up. And he's sleeping one way in the bed. His brother's sleeping the other way. His younger brother, shout out to you, Michael Crawford, brother, yeah. was a genius yeah. in books. And yeah. I'm like, David, get up. Yeah. 
and no shower, nothing. Just put on his basketball stuff. Shit and ready to rock. Let's go. <laughs> and go to practice. So I had to give him a chance. Yeah, you had to. You had to. And then it paid off. It now, paid if he couldn't play a lick, I would have never went over right, That's why right. I said selfish. Yeah, said, if they said it. he was, this boy got in trouble, he off in basketball. And, you know, how I help is I notice something you have that can contribute to the world. Mm. To the area, right? And then from there, I could take it from there. Right. I, I'm not good at just finding you just sitting at a desk and you not doing nothing. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I still do that with my organization. If I see a kid running track, and he got the wrong cleats on, and he fast as lightning. Get next right. week, you he gonna have the right cleats. So let's talk about that, bro. Uh, let's talk about the you know the TC win the decision on getting out of there. What was the decision of leaving that? It's been so special. You made those runs. You're doing all this. The, the Metro era. What was the decision? Of, it Damn. just it just never leaves, man. It's like what we just said. It, it, in the river, I'm sorry, Nashua River was I couldn't run from. I was a tennis guy. Why? I don't worry about what they say, but I was just like, let me ball because I was proving what I could do. Why? But they were just waiting for that one low year. Who don't That's have a low it. year? Yeah, it's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's gonna happen. So then I go to TC Williams. It was none of that. It was just like I'm not from there. Mm. So it just kept being. We win, they get quiet. Mm -hmm. We lose, that's cause. You know what I'm saying? And then after the fifth year, to be honest, what made me leave, I helped design a new school that you see at TC Williams now, but they said we wasn't going to have a home game for the next five years. We was going to play mm -hmm. on the road the next five years. And that kind of did something to me. I was just like, no home games? And I know how I, I work. I need my stuff around me. Now yeah, I got to yeah. be too organized. I got to pack up balls every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drive yeah, yeah, in yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I don't know if I'm for this. And at the same time, they started buzzing that Indian River was about to make a change from Herbert Lassay. Mm. It was buzzing in the air, right? And then uh, Ernest time Indian River is on the radar when you said that. They had some young boys. Um, I, I mean, they told me so much. It was some young boys that I didn't even get to use. There was a dude named Greg Pleasure. He could have helped us. Mm. He was big. I don't. Mm. I don't know. He just decided that he had to work. Yeah. But he he was he was he was special. He 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 would have been able to be beside Frank. Eric Whitehurst. Eric Whitehurst. Yeah. And then the white kid. Taylor Cross. Yeah. He was ready. He went to that uh, little school around the corner. Or something Christmas. like that. Yeah. yeah. Um. So it was those kind of things that um at T C Williams that I just got tired of uh because like I say you know I'm gonna protect me so do say the wrong thing. You know, maybe we might. I might have to. You know, you know, right. You know, talk to him outside. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah. And yeah. so I got tired of all of that. And then my mother was getting older, and it just mm. seemed like there was opportunity. So I was on CNN. Mm. I remember that with Darren Town. Yeah. Yeah. And Jason Ingham mm. on the Wolf Blitzer show. Yeah. Michael Jordan. They had the All Star Game there, two thousand one. Yeah. yeah. So the movie comes out. Remember the Titans. Yeah. That's hot. Right. Well. We get all this attention. Then we win the regional title. All star game there. Young lady calls me one day, said, yeah, We want you on this yeah. round table. I hang up the phone. Think it's a prank. Yeah. She calls right back, tells me when to come up there to Roslyn, over there by Georgetown. I'm on the show. I'm up there with Tim Duncan, David what? Stern, all of them talking about the state of high school basketball. Alonzo Mourne is sitting like to the right of me, and he goes, uh, So I see in the river. Now I start playing in my head. Is this karma? Mm. So I said, Alonzo, what's up, man? I said, yo, man, they called me about coming to your school. He said, yeah, man, they could use a good coach down there like it. So I started hearing, you know, the boys playing with, you know, afros, part hair, braid going to games, <laughs> hoodies on. Wow. So, yeah, just, you know, all that to me gets you ready for a game. You got to have that discipline before yeah. the game. And so I said, let me let me uh, talk to Mr. Fry and see what's up. And so it's crazy. I'm now putting this out there. Now. Yeah, the yeah. Truth. Let's talk. Let's talk. People man. were interviewing mm. that won't gonna get the job <laughs> already. Unless I didn't take it already. It was my job. I knew they was interested in me or Lonnie Blow that's at Virginia State University as a head coach. Huh. And so I was like, That's hey, what it came down to. It was our two for the Indian River. For Indian River, wow. and Lonnie stayed at Grammy. You see, right, 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 title. right, right. He made a good decision. Now here's the flip side. The team that I developed at T.C. Williams, the, my young team, you know, like I do future Braves, I have right. future Titans. Ah. That team won the state title. <laughs> Gave me an honorary shirt. Didn't feel the same. Really? Travis Bird and all, they won the state title five wow. years later. Wow. Who would know it? Wow. But it's all good. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I called Mr. Fine and said, I want to come in for an interview. I interviewed. 
And he said it was my job. I go to the coaches clinic in Hampton, and every coach, it's like, I ain't even told nobody. Every coach is like, yo, man, what you going to do? I said, what are you talking about? You know, the the word is, in the room is your, your gig. Mm-hmm. I was like, I ain't heard that. Yeah. He was like, come on, man. That's probably why you down here. Where you interviewing? I heard they ain't announced nobody because now this is flip size of Frank Hassel. Yeah. People in Frank's ear, Marquise Anderson ear, uh, because they don't have no coach. Mm-hmm. Tony Fry trying to hold it together. Yeah. And they saying, man, you don't know who they're going to get. So now that's the way to get you uneasy and then right. you better go to another school. Right. And lucky I came at the right time with the Elizabeth City song, and I just talked to Frank's daddy. Said I'm gonna be the new coach. Tell him the first time you 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 introduced yourself as the coach to the guys. It was you know. I go to North Eastern High School in Elizabeth City. <laughs> I drive from Alexandria, Virginia. Yeah. Well, I, I ride. You know. Well, yeah. But I get the <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. You know, on the passenger yeah. side, get myself together. You know. Yeah. And you know my notepad, and I walk in the gym, and they just about to hit the floor. And I see this dude, light-skinned dude, dunk the ball. That was Mike Scott. Mm. I said, ooh, what team mm. is that? They said, it's <laughs> Creek. I said, damn. <laughs> said, damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I look at Frank, and Frank is banging with him, but Frank don't have the, the natural touch yet. Mm-hmm. Mike seemed like he could just shoot the ball. Do it. He won't shoot no threes at the nah, time. But he, could, but he yeah. seemed like he didn't mind taking like a 15-foot right. and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And he was a little more athletic right, than Frank. Right, he could move. That's what mm-hmm. the thing they kept saying. Frank was a little more lower to the ground, mm-hmm. okay? And then I saw DJ Bell. Mm-hmm. And DJ Bell was up and under under me. Kissing out the glass. I said, wait a minute now. Yeah. I could do something with this. And then the other thing that people don't know, my cousin is Philip Skeeter. Ah. People forget about Skeet. Skeet, Skeet was Skeet, decent. Yeah. Skeet was getting ready to leave and go to that same little private school around the corner. Oak, um, it was Oak. Oh, school. I know you're talking about the Oak, uh, yeah, yeah, Oak Mount. I think it was something like that. No, yeah. Oak Ridge or some shit like yeah, that. It was a, it's the church, the little yes, church. Yeah, yes. they won. They won too. Yeah, they was winning. They was winning. Yeah. So he's going to go there. When he heard, he said, cuz, you going to take the job? Yeah. I'm going to stay. So his mom. Oak his Tree. Mom, Oak Tree or something. That's it. Oak, Oak Tree. You got it. Oak my Tree. Man. Yeah, and Greenbrier. Oak Tree. Yep. Academy. Oak tree. Cause so, that's what uh, Nick Holloway and went. There yep, you yep, go. Yep, yep, so now yep, stay yep, with yep, me. You yep, remember yep, his mama, yep. Skeet Mama? Do you remember Pam? Nah, I can't remember. Diesel? I can't remember. Fine. She yep. walking the game with the leather pants on. Everybody. Turn it up. She was my cousin, Pam Stiggs. Nah. Skeet in there. She still live on Greenbrier with that right behind the wire. Yeah. Townhouses. So she said, take care of my baby. He had a beautiful touch. Yeah. What I knew he couldn't do was put it on the floor, make decisions, you know, mm. wait for something to open up. He had to come off a screen, catch it, and put it in. Yeah, yeah. Okay? And so um, I was just like, I think I'm going to take this job. Yeah. And so right there, I called Mr. Fry back and mm. said, I'm going to take it. And uh, had already done the interview, he just said, yeah. just let me know. I need to know somebody this week because we got some other applicants. Yeah. I told him I was going to take it. It was announced, coming back home. What up, Vinny? Packed up the U-Haul, got everything. I actually kept my townhouse up there for another year. Right, right. Because I still had connections up there. Right. Because you know how the kids were? They was disappointed I was leaving because it was like a shock. It was like, why? Where you going? So they did a big, took a big picture with all the kids I coached, it was really nice. I lost that thing somewhere, but uh, I mean, from tennis to basketball, it was like 30 kids in the picture. And uh, they was like, Coach Mabry is coming back home. I still got that little article uh, with my towel on my shoulder. And I got yeah. the Indian River, and I was ready, man. And the first thing I did Yeah, in the tell, fall, them, tell them what you did. Yeah. Tell them what you did when you walked in in the summer, though, when the team first met you, when you walked oh, yeah. in the locker room. They only know, yeah, no, no, outside, or, or it, we didn't, they were in the locker room. Right. I was on the outside. They don't know me for a can of paint. <laughs> they ain't know who the I hell. Opened up the they door. They know who their coach yeah. was. I wanted to do. I said, man, y'all come out. Y'all come out. And I started saying, I said, man, if y'all want to win this game, and they just started listening to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I said, yo, you got to do this. You got to do that. I said, yo, man, you taking too many shots. I said, get that ball to him. I said, yo, man, you get yourself wide. I'm talking to Fred. Get yourself yeah. wide on the post. Make yourself available. And they was like, okay. I said, go out there play. I said, cause guess what. I'm your next head coach. At <laughs> he dudes like, okay, uh, there's yeah. some short dudes. Say he the coach. They yeah, really know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I called Tony Fry. He said, "Yo, man, I want you to come over to football practice now." And that's where I saw the other people: Quante, mm. um, Marquise Anderson. Anderson. Yeah. Now I'm a Blue talk- foot. 
blue foot, mm-hmm. Morris blue foot. Yeah. Um, and so I'm like, ooh, and they said yeah. he can shoot the ball. So yeah. I knew that was long, yeah. all this stuff. I'm like, whoa. And then was at that time Callaway was still Jessica in the field. Jessica Callaway, yeah, he and on the field. Greg Great Brown, Brown, they on the field. Once I said Greg Brown, I'm doing like this. I got my starters, I got yeah. my backup. I got it. And so I'm having an open gym with people that won't it really play football. You know what I'm saying? I see Steve Kelly, but I ain't know he could play the way he could play. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking he a little combo guard. Yeah. And so Steve Kelly would come in the gym from football practice, you know, let me take a shot. And he missed. Right. So I'd be like, man, he ain't hit you. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. That's a scoring fool, man. <sighs> when he got in the game, he was a game. Left, yeah. That Bama could go left with that right hand and finish. They say he been Pull that shit back like that. Oh, oh my God. Lord, or he'll get that jank on the basket and he'll yeah, that sure. fake dribble and go yeah, right sure. up on your ass. He was he was a yeah, mean cat, but I just had to worry about him after the game was over. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, outside <laughs> of the game in school. They, oh, man. Steve Kelly on H Hall, please go get him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that Steve little Kelly stuff. Boy. But uh, he gave me what he had, and so I had ski. But how I really reeled the man? We was having open gym. Frank was in open gym. He wasn't playing no football. They and this uh, 05. This, this year 05. This is yeah, 0405. 04, 05. Yeah. So they messing with Frank, telling me he, he need to play football to get tougher. They kept having this. I kept hearing this word every time I talked to somebody. He ain't tough enough. Yo, coach, let him play football. He get banged up. Yeah, he don't want to play this sport. He's soft. Mm. There ain't never been nothing soft with Frank. Mm. I told Frank, you know what's wrong with Frank? Mm. Frank was weak. Right. There's a big difference. Right. You that tall and you ain't been in the weight room. Right. You know what I'm saying? You can't feel your strength. And I told him they was doing some open gym and we was watching. This is what I saw. I saw the stuff I was putting him through and he was tired. This sounds crazy. This is what I yeah. look at. I call it don't desecrate my drills. They got to the baseline. They had to run one more 17. And when I blew the whistle, every cat on that line did this <sighs> before they ran. So you just lost three seconds. You, right. know, you ain't even trying to make these 17 in a right. minute. Right, right. So I said, all y'all want to be the same. But guess what I saw Frank do? Get out of there. Go. I believe a little, so I said, oh, look at him. <laughs> he didn't make it in a minute and minute and 30. But he was going. But he was trying. And I said, I said, that dude right there going to be my first Division One scholarship. <laughs> and they laughed. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he, he remembered it. Yeah, they laughed. Tell you, yeah, Frank will tell you that. They said, <laughs> Frank? Yeah. So I didn't know his background. Mm. So <clears throat> I was like, you watch and see. Because mm. at that time, I started talking to Greg Brown, and I could see... He was slipping from under me what mm-hmm. I wanted. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I knew he was playing football, and then he broke his thumb. And I'll never forget it. I saw him in his neighborhood. Mm-hmm. I said, what are you doing here? Y'all got a game against Nancy River. He said, I ain't going to play any only need for me to go. I said, what? Mm-hmm. You're supposed to cheer your team, team on. on. Yeah. Get in my car. All right. I said, I ain't bringing you back, but you're going to use the bus. You're going to the game, yeah. You're going to live yeah. with Yeah, you're going to ride the bus yeah. back with the team. Yeah, so I jumped Greg Brown in the car. He went to the game, and I said, here go one of your players. And I thought he would get himself together, but it just didn't happen. It yeah. wasn't meant to be. Like I said, it was meant to be so that I could. Could you remember one of your last attempts at trying to get that man to? Yeah. I'm going to keep that one personal. Um, <clears throat> well, before it got real, you know what I mean, to that you know, to that level. Like, yeah, you before know, him leaving You know who I was. You know, I was yeah. about them books now. Yeah. So I had your report card for you got it. Yeah. So you couldn't say... I'm good. <laughs> you yeah, can say yeah, it, yeah, yeah, but I already yeah, knew you yeah, weren't yeah, that good. Yeah, yeah, so when yeah. I got his grades and I pulled him in the gym with me, and that's not the, the story that I'm going to kind of keep in there because yeah. eventually I ran into him in Richmond. Right, I yeah, I remember Richmond, you. I remember. And I saw yeah, him on the yeah, cut, yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. just like, nah, two from different that minutes. to yeah, that, two you different. know what I'm saying? But uh, he came to me, I said, look at your grades, man. I said, you're not going to be eligible second semester. I said, you're going to fall in off the earth. He said, Coach, maybe off a cliff, but not the earth. <laughs> <laughs> so he went like, hard on his head. Yeah, and I was like, what? I said, yo, man, you decide what you want to do. Yeah, you... And he had a little white little shorty he was with yeah, every day. Yeah. He bought him his cigarettes. He was, told, he was, he was in back. the cafeteria. He was chilling. Yeah, he so was... I went on and jumped on Frank. And Frank stayed in that weight room. And Frank did. See, I, I saw part of Frank's interview. Mm-hmm. You tell Frank, forget him. I just put that. Because <laughs> Frank... Oh, both of y'all, y'all, y'all be diminishing what y'all did. I see what you're saying. Y'all start giving too much credit to us. I mean, man, shit. we ain't nothing but the vessel of, yeah. of we just the vessel. We're like you the blood. Right, right, right. We right. just the vein for you to travel through us. Right. So that we can keep living. But shit, the impact to us is 
you know, as we still, <coughs> I think it's probably that as you, like, you know, how you still naming them names and like, it's that, you know, that, that impact is still there and yeah. it's still real. Yeah, but you he know? didn't have to, he could have done like some other one, be like, I ain't doing all this. Could've. Why I'm doing it. He never said nothing. To, I said, you need to play volleyball because I need you to get it. jump up high. You need to get quick on your, on your, on your, on your feet. He didn't say, I don't play volleyball like me playing tennis. He was like, there ain't no more white boys out there. He's like, all right. <laughs> and guess what? He took it to another level. He yeah. went and bought him a weight vest. Yeah. I didn't tell him about that. Yeah. He wore that weight vest. Come on, man. He walked Every, down the hall with that jacket. Come on, man. He, he did practice with that weight vest on to blame. make his legs stronger. Then I took him in the weight room, and I remember he started out with just the bar mm-hmm. and a 25. Mm-hmm. He, <laughs> and I told him, I said... One day they're going to call you Big Frank. Mm. You ain't going to just be Frank. They're going to put a name in front of you. And sure enough, they did. The tank. Sure enough, call they did. Call that man a tank. And the people forget, by his senior year, I had him shooting threes from the top. Mm. People forget that. We we morphed his yeah. game. Yeah. But the thing that made Frank get the ODU, it has nothing to do with his basketball. Mm. Blaine Taylor, all of them were still trying to get Mike Scott. Right. Everybody was trying to get Mike Scott. It's like, yeah, we like Frank, but and right. they're both playing on Boo Williams. Mm-hmm. And I go to a bar with, with Blaine Taylor... And Bill Self, we sit there together. Um, Tubby Smith. Hmm. Um, I can't remember who else, one of the another AAU coaches. But we sitting there, we just hard up and talking. And uh, we having a good time. Oh, uh, Richard Sherman used to be coaching at JMU, Smooth Brother. Hmm. He was there working with Nike. So we just talking about basketball, and I'm getting my insight. And Blaine starts listening to me. He's like, you really know basketball, huh, coach? I said, yeah, Blaine. He said, we take a ch- Oh, John Richardson. John Richardson. Shout out to John, my John frat Richardson. brother, John Richardson, John Richardson, who was my JV coach at T.C. Williams. Ah, See, for real. Got, Damn, I didn't know that. I got the picture. John he was Richardson. my JV coach, and he left Woodside to come out there with me, and then he left and said, man, I got a JV team at Woodside. I think he win the state title. And, then, and that was Steve, Stephon, Stephon Wilson, Wilson and Calvin and Baker. Baker. Yep. You see what I'm saying? And that's how I think about it. He was my JV coach for a year. Yeah. So that's, that's why we crazy. got the connection. When he's at ODU, I'm saying, I said, John, they need to take Frank, man. They need to take Frank. He said, chill. I'm going a, I'm to a push it. So Blaine said, if we take him, will it be worth our money? I said, all I know is this dude is going to work as hard as you want him to. Right. That's who he is. Right. And uh, this is the part I'm going to say about Frank. Frank, I don't know. I didn't know his story until he told me about, did he play JV? Yes. Yeah. Oh, he played JV. Yeah, he got cut. He, was, he got cut from Boston. Yes. He, I didn't know he even played JV. Right. Yeah. I thought he, he was trying to make Boston with all the other guys like yeah. Greg and they yeah. put him back on JV. Yeah. He but did he play middle school? Yes. Oh, he did play did middle he play school. With Keith? Yeah. Oh, did he get any time? Not really. Right, because they was downplaying. It was like, man, yeah. even Coach Simmons. Frank don't know. Yeah. When I got, it, he said, "What you gonna do with him?" He said, "Who you need is Greg Brown." Right. Every time I kept hearing, I said, "I'm gonna be all right with him." I said, "This year, yeah. we he gonna grow. Next year, I ain't gonna have to mess with him. Right. He gonna be fine." And he worked that. And shit, um, his grades was, I'm gonna tell you, his personal stuff. Yeah. Frank stayed eligible. Yeah. That's what he did. Yeah. That was the mentality, um, not to downplay the other coaching staff, yeah. but they was about get a 2-0. Yeah. So when I went and got Frank's transcript, I said, there's no way he's going to ever be able to play Division One with his GPA. So Frank was just regular. He got C's. 2-0. 2-0. 2-0. He, and he might get an A in PE, so right. then he would say, I can get a D in this class. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I did was, I got the NCAA requirement um, form. I forgot what the thing was called. Begin with a D. But I got the form. And I said, I found every you other get the English. the clearhouse and all that shit. Right. Yeah. I found every other English in every other science. And I made Frank take those. Mm. Why? Because they take your core GPA. Mm. I knew this out. It's not your regular GPA. It's your core means yeah. your English, yes, your science, science and, and your the, foreign language. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Frank had a D maybe in earth science. Right. So I got him to take anatomy. Uh, anatomy is another science. science. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that anatomy can replace that earth, earth science, science grade. Right, 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 right. So now I stayed on him and said, you got to get a B in that class. Then I made him take journalism. That's another English. Mm-hmm. He makes a B in that. That replaces that C. Right, right. So Frank felt, then I made him take sociology. Right. He took that, made an A. Yeah. Frank is the only player I know to graduate with a higher core GPA than his regular, regular GPA. GPA. Wow. 
Wow. His core GPA was like a two seven something. His regular GPA was like a two three. <laughs> so now we got to get on that SAT. Right. That's, so that's what I'm saying. I didn't do none of that work. Frankly. This Bama did that yeah, work. Yeah. I saw him going to the SAT prep stuff. I saw him work out and, and then go, go do that shit. Frank Miss Prom. Talk about that. Niggas don't With even know that. With the stallion girl. The baller, the, the bad bridge. one. Everybody won. I said, Frank, you know, there's a tournament the week of your prom, but uh, I'm going to tell Boo you're not going. He said, yeah. I'm going. I ain't going to prom. He said, what about the prom? I said, man, I can see her after the prom. <laughs> Frank I said, this plan. dude hungry, yo. Yo, he won't play. Who but, does that? And, and especially at any room at that time. He said, I don't need no cabinet. Like that. He don't need no, I don't need no tux, no that nothing. Motherfucker he said, that's my girl. I can see her after the prom. Did she go with her brother or something? Somebody. Frank didn't give a fuck. I, could not I remember it. that. He didn't he give a fuck. Down I do. To I Georgia, said that too. Cause. I'm like, what the fuck? He's like, Frank ain't go. on this opportunity. Frank ain't go. That's 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 that a was dog. the that, that was the that was and the one. And then he went and took that SAT, and I saw. I told him, see, I knew the SAT stuff too. Now Coop can vouch for this. Yeah. I used to pay for dudes to take the SAT. Mm. You just got to fill out the paperwork. Mm. And I used to tell him, I want you to take it in the tenth grade. Right, right. You never had so you can do bad. Right, I need to but see it. But every year you get used to it. They didn't understand. You don't have to take that score. Right. You take your best. So if you right. get four hundred here on English, and, and you they get, add them up. Yeah, you get yeah. a three hundred here. Yeah. You got a seven hundred, right? Yeah. They add but you next up. year, if you get a four hundred here again, but you get a five hundred on the other part, you can take that five with that four, and then you got nine. Mm-hmm. Then the next year, you could take that five and you get a six, you got 1100 So Frank bought in. He took that SAT three times. By the time we looked, he had a 920. Good. I said, you are now officially <laughs> go to, anyway. yeah. to these schools that's offered. He had Winthrop looking at them. Yep. He had East Carolina. Akron. He had a lot of the mid, yeah, Akron, mm-hmm. mid majors. Fort and Atlanta. He, Norfolk State was all over. But this is when Frank really went to work. This is where he left off. Forget the grades and all that. Let's go to when Frank. Really went to work and said he had to get stronger. Mm. He was getting stronger. Right. But this now, when Frank was coming out, you saw him 12 midday. Mm. I'm under the tree, under the shade, and making him run that track. Yeah. And then Donnell Hammonds, I got him. He took him to another, make him jump over the net, net. They going do push ups, jump over in. another Y'all net, going in do on his sit ups. Then Donnell take him in the back of the gym, give him the moves. And I'm showing him how he could do, use his left and his right. I say, like, it just became a package. Yeah, we he just, was getting it. Was like, yeah, he was getting it. Was like he, was, he, was he was one of the first eating. players getting that. He was getting it all. Nobody was getting the training. Like, I never seen nobody getting that training like he, that. He One-on-one get, person training. All. He was getting that. But then he, I said, Norfolk State wants you, man. Rob Jones is there and there. was assistant coach. Coach, yeah. He said, Frank can come in. This Dwight was there. Freeman. Yeah, Form, that's right. Freeman. Yes. Yeah, Dwight Freeman. He said, Frank can come in here at any time. No, at this time, it was, uh, wasn't Freeman. It was the guy that ended up going to Florida International. He was a quiet dude. I'm looking right. No, nah, he. You talking about Evans? He was an assistant. He was assistant. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, the white yeah, D- so Darren Freeman daddy was there. It was his yeah. dad. Okay, okay. He was only there for like two years. Okay, yep. so he went in that gym, but Jones invited me, mm-hmm. and they was. He's like, you can bowl, and Frank played seven games with Norfolk State, and did not score a point. Mm. Seven games in a row. I sat in Echoes Arena up in the bleachers and watched him. And he ran that floor, and them boys went to work on him. And when he got in my hey, car, what you, yeah, what you think of that? Yeah, yeah. What you, when he got in car, what? what? When he got in my car, and I was taking him back to candlelight, I said, "So, if Norfolk State is too small for you, then why didn't you ball out?" Mm. I said, "So, if you don't think Norfolk State's too small for you, you got some work to do." Most people be like, "I just had a bad day." Right, right. It's like Frank did like this. Like he took a picture that day. Yeah. Say no more. Yeah. When I wasn't in the weight room, <laughs> I see him in there getting somebody to spot him. Irving Cashwell, you, it don't matter. This <laughs> mother was, <laughs> that boy was a workhorse. <laughs> Next thing I know, I see the shoulders spreading, and we in the cafeteria one day, and I take this pencil, <laughs> being stupid, I threw it up in the cafeteria towel. Yeah. I tell Gavin, Gavin Harris, mm. you can put right there by yeah, his room. You know, we used to sit over there yeah, in that yeah, little yeah. cut over there. Yeah. I say, I bet you Frank can knock that pencil out that wall. Gavin said, he ain't getting up there. I said, I think he can get it. Some of the other guards tried to jump and get it. And, and then Frank jumped up there. Hmm. Pap. He was here. He <laughs> said, boy, what have you done with this dude? And people forget, I took our, our program. 
I came out with us doing photography shoots. <laughs> People forget, we going in the barbershop. You had the grown and ready posters? Yeah, Poopoo, yeah. my boy from Sunrise yeah. Hill. Yeah. Shout out to the to the Wilsons. Poopoo said, you can use my barbershop, groomed and ready. We had a saying every year. I used to do that at TC Williams, so I just brought it right yeah. there. Get people to sponsor the, yeah, the that color was perfect. print. That was perfect. And and it was it that gave was us another legitimate. Then guess what? Then we got blazers. Mm, Head to yeah, ties yeah, and matches yeah. with khakis. We going in games. Now, what it's all about is I'm trying to let those other people know that we can be about business. Right. And it oh it sounds crazy, but it makes the officials give you a little more respect on the calls mm. to the players. Right. Like Every they, time they, they walked in the gym, they're like, Coach, your boys are sharp. Yeah, yeah, People yeah. don't understand. They're part of the community, too. Yeah. But when you coming in with your hood on and all, they be like, man. If you touch somebody, like, well, he played hood leg like, anyway. He's <laughs> foul. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm used saying? to that shit, yeah. And the last thing I'm going to say about Andy River is Marquise Anderson. Ooh, talk to me about him. Talk to me about him. Marquise Anderson, he'll understand this. Substitution for addition. Mm. Substitution what for addition. What you mean addition. by that? He knows because Marquise Anderson came from the philosophy that he could shoot. Mm. And he was putting it up. His dad was like, shoot it, shoot it. And this sounds crazy. You know, we used to, no disrespect, we used to beat Oscar Smith right. all the time. Right. The way Oscar Smith beating us now, I don't even, I ain't understand it. Yeah. They might get us one, right. but they we we come was back. splitting. Yeah. And then mo- most of the years, we was winning both nah, of them. Nah, we was going to get that. Yeah, we was yeah. going to get that. We, we know y'all got it on the field. Yeah. We're going to get that one. We was, they got us on the football field, so I yeah. said, we winning this basketball yeah, we game. we going to get that. Yeah. We used to get them. And so, Marquise Anderson, we're playing Great Bridge, and Marquise is shooting the ball. Mm. And I called a timeout. And I said, Marquise, we lose this game if you keep making shots. And he was looking at me for a minute like, huh? I said, we lose this game. You keep making shots. We down by eight. I said, you know why? I said, because our big man, Frank and I not touching the ball. We got to run our stuff. Skeet got to come off that screen. You got to give him the ball. This is coaching. Mm-hmm. This is coachability. Wow. This is Marquise's ambition is not bigger than the team. Mm. That's what's wrong with a lot of the kids now. Everybody right. want to be a star right now. Their ambition is too big for the team. Right. So they can't understand that Tyler can score 30. Mm. And it's all good. We got more games. You can get third another game. Right. Marquise said, I got you, coach. And I heard his daddy like, you open, shoot. And Marquise, pop, pass that jam. Mm. What's wrong with you? Man, I might as well lead the game if you ain't going to shoot. Marquise, hey. Frank, dunk. Skeet, come off the screen from Frank. Dump it down to Frank. Dunk. Skeet come off the screen. This time they stay. Mm. Marquise finished with 10, 11 assists. We win by 12. Mm. I remember they had to do with the braids. I think I remember. He, I think he shot somebody for, for Great Bridge. John Tay, the tall John, dude. Yeah. yeah, he could go. Yeah, he could yeah. go. He could go. He, was, he couldn't believe it. Yeah. And Marquise walked up to me and said, substitution for addition. Mm. I needed him one more year. Yeah, nah. Yeah. The year, if he's there, if he's a junior. When Frank's a senior. When Frank is a junior, junior and yeah, they get yeah, to be yeah, seniors together, together oh. it's a whole nother story. Yeah. I'm not just saying that we beat Lanstown, because I got a solid, not afraid. You know, I had to go with Deontay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And he was getting better, but he, he was wasn't still, ready for yeah, that he, moment. Yeah, he was young. He was still, he wasn't ready. Yeah. Marquise Anderson. Baby. And that next year, Marquise used to come to the gym. He started helping me and all that. And he's just like... I'm just remember him in pickup. Tony he, was, he was fucking he us was, up. He was important to Mike Bynum's growth. Yeah. Because yeah. he was always in Mike Bynum's ear going against Mike. He kept saying... He, he kept. He told me, he said, Coach, he better than Vincent. Yeah. He the one told me that. I said, nah, I'm going to go with Vincent more. He said, I tell you what, let him go do pickup and see what team win. <laughs> they did pickup and Mike's team won. Then I switched just the guards mm-hmm. and Mike's team won. Yeah, so you seen it. Yeah. And Vincent then went to Atlanta Shores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. career, but Mike right there showed me who he's gonna become. Right, and you know I could talk about all. I had so many good players for Indian River, but I never could. After a while, you know, I was a planner. I was. It was weird how I used to do stuff. And Coop could know me about this. I used to go in the back and write the future lineup mm. at my house. I was like OCD. I had stickers, being like, he gonna play. Behind him next year. Yeah. You know how coaches got a depth chart? Yeah. I hit it with stickers. He yeah. gonna be here, he gonna be here. And then somebody could just whisper 
to somebody with all that work you put in and be like, you should come over here. And it's gone. And so to me, I was just like, so what I got? Mm. Let's go to work. Mm. And I always felt like those people that left, left for whatever their reason, those people that stayed, stayed mm. for whatever reason. Because Drayvon Patilio becomes a beast mm. once he got more lather, built yeah, his body. Yeah, yeah. Six yeah. four. Come on, man. He got crazy. He that got backdoor crazy. play was to do for Drayvon Patilio when he dunked that thing baseline. Come on, man. You remember that, Joe? He to get up on that shit. He run up. They think he going out. They set that back screen. He cut to the basket. Mm. Mike throw that Jane through that, that pocket up. pass. That motherfucker used to get Yank. up on that shit. Yeah. I said, oh Let's my talk God. about the night where he, Austin Smith, very well Matilio, dunked on the motherfucker. Pat House. You remember that? Somebody, somebody he going to tell me one day, somebody bet him, said, I'm going to give you $50 you dunk tonight. Man. That's like one of them dunks where somebody made a side bet like that you got to get it. That shit was crazy. Because when he did it, it was like, the dude was there. Yeah, he was like, whoa, no, no. Everybody like, looked at yeah, it like, no. Nah, he said, he ain't gonna do that. But I guess it's about that rivalry. He's like, yeah, this, yeah, this yeah, Street yeah, rivalry shit, right here. This shit was deep. Boom! Boom that motherfucker. I said, well, we about to win this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was over. <laughs> we about to win this one. That shit one was now. over. That yeah. shit was over after so that. So if I had to name, like, you know, because I don't know how much time, if I had to name all the best guards yeah, who was your, in that river. Yeah, who was your, who was your, who was your best, what, what would you say your best was that river? And you know, it's crazy because me and all us was there at your your best team, you know, yeah. old, old, your junior with Mike senior, junior, Mike senior, and Joe senior. Yeah, was your best two I, years. I, I wish I had, uh, I wish I had, like I said, Marquise Anderson what? a little longer. But I grew with Mike. Mike in the ninth grade had to deal with playing JV, right? Who wanted to be on varsity. Right. Once again, we go back to his ambition is right. not bigger than the team. Right, you gotta, yeah, he trust you gotta me. Have, he yeah. said, okay, coach, and I had three years with him, and we were losing the Nashville River, mm. and Mike Bynum said, we're not losing this game. Right. We were down by nine. Mike said, we're not losing this game. Mike sent the game in overtime. He went on fire, hit three threes in a row. Mm -hmm. We going overtime, and we win the game. Mm. I ain't even had to coach no more. Right. When somebody say something like that, I was like, well, go do it. I just sat there and let him right. call the plays. Right, right. And he went to work, man. Right. And that's when I knew I said he could play college level. Yeah, right. And, and Mark, Mike had chances to go in places like he don't even know this. I used to get calls from places like um um that was the school begin with a D up in like Pennsylvania somewhere. Um Division One. Yeah, Division One. Um Duquesne. Yeah, Duquesne, yeah, yeah, yeah. Duquesne. I thought Mike St. Mar Mount St. Mary's was looking at him a little bit too. Yeah, all of them, but they kept saying yeah. the same thing. Too small. Yeah, people kill me with this, this, this prototype height. See what you can do. That's why I don't believe in the combines of football. Right. You watch a dude run a four. I don't love it. Yeah. yeah. Then he get hit and spit the ball out. Yeah. What did he do during the season? Yeah. That's my thing. And then some dudes are fast running straight. You put them shoulder pads on, they're not as fast. They're not as fast, bro. And then you see some dudes who <laughs> thought was slow. Okay, who you taking? Right. Marshawn Lynch. Right. Or just some speedy back that's back there. Yeah, you know I need I need a dog. Yeah, yeah. McCarthy or Marshawn Lynch. Come on, we need a dog. Marshawn Lynch gonna give you four, five every. We need that play. We need McCarthy that. gonna give you two, then maybe seven, <laughs> then one, then right. lose a yard. Right, right. Marshawn right. Lynch not using no, no yards, I'm, and I'm, only two people yeah, trying to tackle. Different mindset. Yeah, yeah. So that's who that's who Mike was for us, and we just kept. I mean, we kept losing players, and then the next person step up. Who who you say, Antonio? Wasn't that Anthony? What's the boy? That's said, Who? got hit in the back of the head. Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown couldn't play with a dawn on JV. <laughs> hit the front his little shot. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. By his senior year, he knocking out shots. Yeah. He playing against he Devontae the Gardner. Yeah. And he knew how to wear Devontae Gardner down. Oh. He would tie up, make yeah. them both fall down. Blood shit. Yeah. He know Devontae yeah. bigger, got to get yeah, up. Yeah. He getting tired. He need a sub. Yeah. And they never beat us by no more than like eight. Nah, it was not nah, shit. With the, four, oh, with maybe. four division one. It was good. It was good. It was with good. four division one players. It was good. Yeah. It was good. So that's sure. what I was about. I said, we could have kept all our guys together like that other tall dude, Chris Sherrod, and all yeah. of them. Ah, oh, rest in peace, Chris Sherrod. You didn't even did. know that. Rest in peace, Chris Sherrod. About two years ago, coach. Wait Kyle a minute. No, 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 no. About a year ago, man. Kyle tall Ashton. Chris Sherrod? Tree. Rest in peace. Kyle uh, Ashton. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah, Coach Mary. I know a lot of coaches don't know that Chris Sherrod is dead. Chris Sherrod, dead. Yeah. yeah. That shit fucked me up. Man, he don't mess me up on live time. Yeah, that shit fucked me up. Last time I saw him, he was like at an Olive Garden or Apple. Yeah, he was working over there. Yeah, yeah. Chris Rod, car accident. Chris Rod, man. Yeah, 
Christian Rod is gone. Two years ago, like right after Sterling, y'all. But not the other Christian Rod. No, nah, not not the one not that shoot. Not y'all boy. Not no, the one that shoot. Not the one that hit the lights in the game. <laughs> <laughs> y'all remember that thing? I said, what the hell is going on in here? <laughs> <laughs> Hold the ball. <laughs> the ball. <laughs> I said, why'd you give him the ball? I was like, this is some looted tune. The lights started the lights. dangling. Then they hit the lights. He hit the lights, yo. I was like, I told him not to shoot it, and he shot it anyway. <laughs> and then, then that's the part. The light fell, the light hanging. Everybody yeah, like, he didn't oh, win. Yeah, yeah, we in trouble for he this one right up. here. He fucked yeah. up bad. He, he did. Yeah. So we had we had guards like, uh, like I said, Mike Bynum, Juwan Alvarado, but the one that's dear in my heart, I mean, Marquise Anderson, of course. Yeah, yeah. But after our team started getting weaker, I got this young fella to come on a team named Osiris Chambers. Oh, my God. That he young boy. A, he was a pro. He was a pro if he could have got his mind right. He was a pro. He had unbelievable touch. Yeah. You know you got to be that good. Boy. When we play Minchville, <laughs> they in first place. Mm. We go to Minchville to play them. You know they me. in first place. He now 6'6". Six, six. He hadn't played the whole first Fucking, semester. Yeah, he been off. He been gone. He got eligible for the second semester. This was the first game. I put him in and he had 18 points and we knocked him off. <laughs> we knocked him off. And I was just like, wow. this dude's special, man. Yeah. And can I, do everything. He could do everything. Crazy. And I, and I knew by his senior year, he was going to really be able to do everything. Like I was going to let him go. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah. threes, the, the short range, yeah. you know. The, the alley oops, just everything. Right. He, he just had it all. He didn't miss free throws. He just couldn't stay consistent with practice and everything else you had to do. Yeah. Um, uh. But who was the dog with all of that going on was Breon Hextall. Breon Hextall. Breon, look, he's another one. Mm. Low to the ground. Mm. He ain't got no great, no vertical. No, no, no. He ain't got none of that. He can handle that basketball. He can handle that rock. He had that low... That powerful low. Yes, yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. He can bump you off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Da da, he, yeah, get he your got, head. He, he got that clipping yeah. where that boy from Nassau River shot that three on. You remember? He said it was embarrassing. Ask him more. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. He shot that three on him, and his face is all in the camera. It's like <laughs> the boy chest all in. He said, "Coach, that was embarrassing." I said, "Well, now it's time for you to make the paper." Yeah. And he went to work for two years, man. When we went to Brunswick and won that title, yeah, yeah. We weren't supposed to win that. We're in Hustle Turn. They had us. Yeah, you know, Bronson don't play. They, they, they come out. They had out. the tournament for them yeah, to win. They, they come, come out. out. Yeah. They played an easy team. South Hanna beat them by 30. Yeah. They made us pay uh, this the school, uh, not Patrick Henry, but it was a school in that area, Purple and Gold, and mm. we beat them by 10. That shocked them. Mm. But that was a game Osiris, once again, started instead of coming off the bench. Right. But it was the best thing because he didn't really need the ball. Right, 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 right. 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 He could do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when Osiris came out or Breon came out, we didn't lose no firepower scoring. Juwan came right because he wanted to shoot. Right, Juwan right, Jacob with right. little broken arms. We found a way. <laughs> yo, yeah, bro, we found like a way him. to shoot. If he's shooting that thing straight on, money. money yeah. Corner, corner there. Yeah, I said, yeah. from the side, you're missing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so yeah. that's coaching. You figure out where your percentage is. And right. he was unbelievable. Right. And we knocked off Brunswick and that final. Y'all was tough, baby. And they couldn't believe it. And then oh, that's young what, Tobias, y'all the young Tobias. Yeah, young Tobias. Well, oh, Ooh, if Tobias would have stayed. Tobias Green could have played college ball too. If he would have stayed. He was mean. And he had that Rodney Livingston, that mentality. People but he was forget, a little bit better. He, yeah. I would he say he was a little bit better. He got eligible. We playing Warwick. And he went off, huh? He would have go off, but in the biggest moment he did. Yeah. He, he had about like eight or nine. He got knocked in the bleachers. Everybody else takes that and be like. Yeah, he got he right jumped up. up. said, yo, man. Yeah. Yo. These Newport News trying to. You know, he yeah. said, yo, man. I said, I, was t- I want him to do it. Just yeah. enough. But, yeah, just you know, so I said, Tobias. Ha, ha. Yeah. But I was, it was all the I want to see it. Yeah. So at the end of the game, he hit the baseline. And I said, you hit this, we win this. That little left hand. Bing. They called the timer. I said, you tough boy. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. Because he love that take shit. take that shot, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's more than just taking a shot. As you taking a shot, if you, you know at one moment say, I got to make this, you got to miss it. Yeah, it's done. Tobias shot it like, I'm open. I'm making this. Yeah, straight up. Not, I guess, see, I got to make this means you hoping. Yeah. That's what made Kevin Durant and Steph Curry and them like, when they, they said, damn, you left me open? They already yeah, believe every shot going yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. And that's what Tobias believed. Every right. shot he took was going in. Right. I used and, to love that little nigga, boy. man. I used to love that so little nigga. T- he's still around, right? I ain't seen Tobias in a minute. Last time I seen him, you know, he, he, he was doing the street thing. Right, right, right. I, right. I hope he's yeah. still around, but he was, he, was, he was tough. 
And um, we knocked off. We was knocking. That's when they had that five A. We started playing. Yeah, that's when it switched up. Yeah. But my favorite game was when we played Mitchville at home. After we beat them, Mitchville still was in first because we dropped the game to somebody. And uh, me just sitting on the sideline, I saw when Jaquan Chambers ran up to the top. His big man ran up to the top with him, mm. and the game was getting pressed. And we had this dude named Spencer. Spencer. Little Spencer, remember? Little Goofy, remember? <laughs> yeah. Spencer. But Spencer yeah. would listen here and there. The like, diesel motherfucker. Yeah. Um, play football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the line, yeah, yeah. But he wasn't no basketball guy. Nah, at all. But now, you know, we was down. He's now starting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, Coach, what do you need me to do? I yeah, remember, do it. I remember we went to Brunswick. He crying on the bus because they was joking him. I was like, Spencer, you got to deal with that stuff. <laughs> 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 yeah. that's, that's called shooting the dozen. You got to deal you know with that saying? stuff. So, <laughs> but, uh, but, uh. <laughs> I don't know. I still remember this play in my head, and I still know that that's when I go. That's a play for the century. Why? I'm just telling because it seals the game. It seals the game, and I just knew that's when I knew I could see. Like you know how some people can play chess and see seven, eight moves. Now this this dude running up with Jaquan Chambers happened like five minutes ago. Right. But I remember him kept running up every time, and we looked like we was about to lose the ball. He kept getting. You know, yeah. it kept making me nervous. Like I, you know, I had to talk on the sideline. Like hold it, yeah, hold it, yeah, yeah. cut through, cut through, yeah. had to walk through every play. Right. And I was worried we was going to turn the ball over. It gets like thirty seconds on the clock. I can't remember exactly, but like thirty seconds on the clock, they're up by one. Mm. It's our ball. Most coaches gonna say what? Stall it, slow yeah. it, get the last shot. We're gonna turn the ball over. Yeah. So we're gonna turn the ball over. We turn it. Yeah, you see. I can it. see it. Yeah. I called a timeout and I said, Breon, take the ball out of bounds. He said, Coach, I don't take the ball out of bounds. I said, listen to me. I knew he was my best passer. Passer, yeah. I said, I want you to take the ball out of bounds. I need somebody to get bounds. that ball in. Yeah. I said, Reggie Hodges, I want you to stand half court and we're going this way. You know, it's like this our bit. We're going this way. I said, Jaquan, I want you to start on the low block on the right side by me. I said, Spencer. I want you to run out to the corner. I said, and then stay there. Right. And I can't remember who the other guard was. It didn't even matter. Maybe it was Juwan Jacobs. I said, Juwan, I want you to stand right on the sideline, on the side by where the fans are. Just stay there like you want the ball. That means somebody going to deny him and yeah, all of that, right? Yeah, they Jaquan ran up. Reggie Hodges out like he was going to run to the ball. And curled off of Jawan. Jawan screamed Reggie's man. That big man fell asleep. He ran up with Jaquan. Mm -hmm. He left the goal open. He didn't think, switch. Right. If he switches, the play doesn't work. Right, right, right. It's done. He ran up trying to deny Jaquan. Jaquan sets a screen on Reggie's man. Reggie mm -hmm. running to the basket. Breon throws it from the half court line. Oh, damn. So, out of bounds. Yes. And it's on the left side. That's Reggie left, left hand. hand. He Reggie catches yeah. Joe from out of bounds. Lay right up. Toot, toot. You could see the place go crazy. Clock ticking, clock ticking. They get the ball. And I already told them, right after we get the ball, go to 33. Because 33 clogs up a lot of space. You got a 1-3-1. One, one. You got man on the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my man rushed it and threw it to the corner. We jumped it. They fouled Breon. He went mm, to the free throw line. Made both threes. I mean, both free throws went by three. Um, their coach, uh, I could see a, a little white dude with a thick mustache. He said, "That was a hell of a play." <laughs> and we went into the, you know, we went into the region. Right, right. Um, snuck in there. Snuck in there. Yeah, snuck in that thing. And who y'all see in the region? We were seated number two. Who y'all see? Oh, who did we see? We saw um, Hampton. Big Cat Bob. Yeah. And. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah, the big. It is what it is. But yeah. like I said, our post player was six feet tall. Right, y'all did and that Jaquan shit six feet tall. We did it undersized. Y'all was the best player at Greenbrier when I went to go see. Like I told you, was Sebastian Yates. Right. He took his career somewhere else. Right. And so they gave us the Quan like he can't become a baller. He right. played so hard. We just kept working with him, and it took him four years. And then look at him. He ended up going to printer school. Mm -hmm. You know, playing football there. Right. And doing this thing, man, rapping a little, I guess. Yeah, yeah, he's doing some things. Yeah. You know, and so, you know, then, you know, basketball just started leveling off at any room. You can just see it. It's cyclical. Mm. And then that's when we started seeing Osiris was supposed to be the next emerging with 
um, Devin, mm-hmm. and it was a little skinny boy that could shoot. We was calling him Kevin Durant. Um, Vincent, Vincent Cox. Ah, skinny Vincent. Yeah, skinny yeah. Vincent Cox. We had that whole group primed and ready, you know, and yeah. um, it just didn't, it just didn't work out. Yeah, man. yeah. And then I just started seeing, you know, like the culture change over there. The huh? culture change, and I was like, hmm. this is what this is what told me it was time for me to uh, resign. They were tired of me. I was kind of tired of coaching them, mm. to be honest. 2016, what? I had this kid named Lorenzo Gatlin. Shout out to Lorenzo. Hell of a guard. Hell of a guard. Hell Lorenzo come not play ninth grade year. He came from Alabama. Brown. I kept mm-hmm. him around. You know, had to always check him being in the hall too much, all of that. Mm-hmm. But by his 10th grade year, he loved playing ball. Loved That's it. He going to be at the wreck all day, every day. Oh, my God. That shit, yeah. He couldn't wait to get himself eligible. Couldn't he had to do wait. some work over, but he was ready. Yeah. And I had uh, a senior who just couldn't understand that he's ahead of him. He could, he knew it in practice, but in games, he didn't know it. Mm. And, you know, sometimes if you don't do what you're supposed to do in a game, it can mess up the narrative because yeah. you don't know, you ain't got no 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 remote control to say pause. Right, it's going, yeah. Don't shoot that. You, right. know, you don't shoot that. Because in <laughs> practice, you're doing exactly what I say, getting into Lorenzo, doing what you're supposed to do. Now right. you're taking shots you're not supposed to take. Now you and I having a little... Let's say a little banter, right? And instead of me now coaching, I'm using too much energy on trying to get you to believe in what, what we are working yeah. on. And so there was a game he missed a layup. The same kid that want to do what he's supposed to do, and mm. all I said was, "You're playing soft." Mm. And I had to have a meeting with who? Coaches, and, I with mean, the with staff, with staff, with dog, yeah, with, 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 oh, with Lord. big dog, the yeah. lady. He was yeah. like, the parent made a phone call. Wow, and I said. I berated her son and made him feel bad when I called him soft. Mm. And I said, he, he, I said, that's why I said, what? <laughs> yeah, I started yeah, going yeah. all the way back to I know you. Yeah. I was just like, yeah. who did I said worse than yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. What the world? You talking about soft? I said, soft. I said, this. I said, this is over. I, I remember you <laughs> I, I said this out loud with Mr. Job. I said, it's oh, over. Bro, yeah. It's over. Yeah. He said, excuse me. I said, look. Let's just say this marriage is over. Yeah. I want a divorce. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and yeah. I'm telling you, the intimate conversation, yeah. he said, well, we'll go, think about going in a different direction anyway. And that's when, you know, I think Coach Overland was you right. know, looking in the wings, which was, was cool. You know what I'm saying? And I was just like, you got Lorenzo, but you ain't going to be there. See, Lorenzo <laughs> respected me. Lorenzo yeah. respected me like Larry Brown had Allen Allen's respect. Right, him. right, when, right, when, right. When Larry Brown wasn't coaching no more. It was done. It was done. It was done. I don't have to say. It, 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 it's not to say he get Dewey. It is what it is. Do. You know what I'm saying? I'm just yeah. keeping it real. You saw all them have... little. You remember I used to have them little boys in the gym, hot sauce, and all them little boys, Tyler Olden kids. I had them when they were younger. Yeah. They got older, man. Yeah. They man, they take a shot from from the bench, and it was like <laughs> they didn't okay, give it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I was like, they ain't gonna win a lot. Nah. Playing that way, right? But it's almost like that became the culture. Just let them. Shoot anything. It made some of the parents happy. Right. But we won't go. Yeah, we won't go. We won't go win no district or go to no regions or nothing like that, like you're supposed to, because that's not what basketball. Is. Basketball is energy. Yeah. That ball. That ball got to touch people. It gotta, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And if you don't have but two great shooters, then the other people gotta understand these two great shooters get to shoot most of the shots. Right. Right. And we got some place for you to get a layup or something like that. Right. Man. So talk about you going. You know. To the apprenticeship. You, you leave there yeah. and then you go to so, the apprenticeship. So as soon as that happened, see how relationships have happened? Frankie yeah. Chapman's the head coach. Over there. He had the apprentice school. So wow. he now paying me homage. He said, you know what? You hired me. Now I'm going to hire you. I know what you bring to the table. He and I, frat brother too, you know. Frankie Chapman the Q's too. You ain't know that. Yeah, dude. I did not know that. Frank uh, Chapman, I didn't know that. His, bro- his son just went over Q. Damn. Yeah. So you had to spank another nigga on that. Yeah. <laughs> you had to get he another was, motherfucker. He just went over there in the Chesapeake Chuck. But Frank, yeah. yeah, he cued, so we went over there, man, and it was great. And the plan was, the plan was that he was thinking about another gig in a couple of years. What? And then it would be mine. Mm. And uh, he did take the other job, um, and he, he was like staffing or something like that. Yeah. And when they interviewed me for the job, they said they're now looking for a full time coach. Mm. And that just didn't work out financially for me because yeah. a full time coach there is like thirty thousand dollars. I was like at a 
yeah. to live or teach it. Yeah, no, so I was like, you couldn't take the hit. I couldn't take the hit. So I said, let me scale back and just do workouts. And that's why I started doing workouts and, mm -hmm. you know, have my under the radar camp yeah. Yeah. and um, trying to give back through the kids that way. And then I just started coaching tennis a little more. Yeah. And then I coached the girls tennis. And I really enjoy coaching tennis like I enjoy playing. Right. But it was still, you know, an avenue of giving back. And then I'm glad I did it because look what happens. Yeah, let's talk about that. Now you got that this new opportunity. You at V State and you at that Division Two level. You coaching tennis. Talk about that experience, yeah. man. This yeah, it, it comes for us. That's good. People used to always tell me, even when I was younger, as in the basketball thing, say, "Yo, man, you a college coach." They used right. to say that. I said, "Like, this is the stuff you be doing, the stuff you had him doing, the the gear and all that." He said, "You a college coach," and I had some opportunities to be some assistants on some programs, but right. it, it always came with a with a like with, with a deal. Even like with Darien Towns, right? I could right. have Ball State if I get him to go with me, you know, stuff like right. that. Right, yeah, but shit, like, yeah. Yeah, I ain't want to do that. You ain't want to do that? I was like, the, the school got to be the right fit for him, not the right fit for me. Mm. And there's mm. too many coaches that do that. They sell their kids, lying to them. Right. So they can get the opportunity, and then the kid don't work out. I was like, yo, you got to listen. You got to listen. But it's really their ambition. That's why I keep telling you again. That's my word. Yeah, that ambition is their real. Their ambition is real. They're lying to you so they can be successful, and it might work out for you. But if not, I'm in place now. Right. Right, right. And 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 right. that's my only thing I said about Chesapeake. Chesapeake is like this big circle. And if you really think about it, Chesapeake's identity can be so many areas. Oh, no. Nah. Yes, sir. Because yeah. it's connected to Portsmouth. We got to go down yeah, this road right, to yeah, Portsmouth. Yeah, right, yeah. You go this way, you're in Virginia Beach. You go this way, you're in North. Norfolk. Right? Yeah. So when you have that close proximity... You sometimes can get lost if you're going north and somebody say, yo, man, you should play over here. You'd be like, oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Somebody over here in Suffolk say, you should go over here. Mm. But if they just said, no, we're going to keep our little pool right here together. Right. And we're going to dominate. Right. Right. And, and, and now I'm talking about my, 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 my peoples now, my city council people. Mm. They know what they was doing when they changed the zone. Oh, come on. We I ain't know. never seen. We know I ain't that. never seen no zone we line. Know that. That we go know that. I thought zone lines like go a little crooked. Yeah, yeah. this them, shit. Them was made of you. Them was did like this, they, and then this can, and they go here. Yeah, they they said we this we go we we made it. We made who we want to go there. We yes, want y'all to go there. We want them to go there. How you how you if you miss the bus at Crestwood? You live in Crestwood. You could get the Indian River. <laughs> You miss the bus at Crestwood, you not getting the Great Bridge. Nah, you're you staying home that day unless you get a ride. Nah, right. Like, That's the way I used to look at it. Yeah. Where's the school that if you miss the bus, you don't have to ride? Get there? Can I get there? There you go. That's where you're supposed to go. That's how the zone's supposed That's to be. That's where you're supposed to go. Stop playing. That's where you're supposed to go. That's where you're supposed to go. This shit is. I, they know. They they knew what they were doing. They didn't want River to be that dominant. It was too long that they, they were. That. Yeah, they didn't. And want they just looked. They said, "Where all them kids come from?" That's what mm -hmm. they do. That's all they do. <laughs> Come wow. on, man. You taking Come that on, long man. ass ride. You passing us. Y'all taking that long ass ride. So we know, so once again, I tell people we gotta wake up. We gotta be smarter. Stop going to get the job at the utility house. Go get the appraiser job. Go get that job that sets zones. You know, get, right. them, get them gigs so you got some of that power. Yeah, we so gotta get, get it in back. There, like, no, no. Yeah, we gotta take it back. Yeah. We gotta take that power back. Yeah, yeah we do. That's where, that's where the power comes from. We do. We do. I'm with you on that. On your local levels, that's what you see. You see me in politics. That's why you see me in that commercial. Where I said, "Don't believe." Yeah, that's all you know. Yeah, don't believe the lies. You make a lot of uh, TV cameos, man. <laughs> let's, let's talk about. We saw you on Chris Rock, Never Scared. How about that? How you about that? Ah, you you laughing, your mother. You we see the me and Coop watch that shit a lot, man. Yeah, you saw huh? the when he talking about them spinning them towels. Them, them <laughs> towels your ass had a ball in them. Anything. All the world had all the thousands. They they, they, they find me, yeah. They find me. And so it's I just think it's like I said, you know, my brother started saying I'm anointed yeah. to help people. Yeah. To be around people and do what I do till I'm gone. That's what I'm gonna do. I, I ain't gonna I'm, not, I'm not perfect by no means, but I know every day I get up. Yeah, you. I, I'm. I'm trying to be an honest foot yeah, effort. Um, yeah, my honest effort. Always. If I if I if I tell you I'm trying to help you get a job, I'm not trying to help you get a job so that I can get a job. No. I'm tr honestly trying to help get you get, you get, get right. Job. Yeah. Yeah. So, what's the goals now for you know a guy like you, man? What's the goals now for 
Coach Chavez, maybe. Hey, I'm going to retire from teaching. I'm mm. working on keeping working on my my foundation. I got a LLC, three Bs, books, behavior, business. Yeah. Uh, I beg, crawl, make my own money, put it in there to get the kids. I buy them tennis rackets, sneakers. Yeah. It could be basketball, whatever. Buy. Yo, double good is breaking my pockets. Double good is double bad. Yeah. Y'all, popcorn, y'all want some popcorn, I can give it to you. I yeah. got stacks of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the biggest fundraiser ever, but yeah. it's helping kids. I can't say no. They're like, my church, my choir, my band, my AAU team. You know, But my goal is to coach this tennis team um, and just see where it takes me and keep building up on my foundation what? and just relax, man. What? And look for me a wife, maybe. Oh, man. Um, you going to be ready to settle it down? I didn't say I was ready, <laughs> but um, I just, let me just say it. Yeah. I just said maybe find a wife. Because when you say you're ready, that means you force it. Okay. So I'm going to just say that if it is the right person now, I can do it. Mm. I couldn't do it while I was young. I couldn't do it while I was at Indian River couldn't coaching basketball because my ambition. Because yeah. it goes by the same thing. I couldn't have been loyal to her. Right, right. I would have been too loyal to that gym. If you say, if she say, let's go to the movies, and you say, coach, we don't have no ride to this game. I'm going. Guess where I'm going? Yo, baby, ride with me. We got to get them to this game. A lot of women don't nah, understand name, that. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. understand it at the beginning. They like that you're successful. Yeah, 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 yeah. When they yeah, start yeah. getting neglected. And they're getting in it. Yeah, you get into it. Yeah, huh? yeah. That's like Tom Brady. You it, it takes sacrifices to to try to be successful in this life. You want to do? So I said, I, and I said, tell him I'm about these kids. I know if we got a game, that's fine with me. <laughs> four months later, yeah, like, it ain't fine. You're not showing me no attention. Them kids say come, you come. I say come, you like a little later. I said because I was in the gym with them. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, know what I'm you think I'm making some shit up with you? Yeah, head. so I love it, man. And so I just want to keep watching y'all. Right. This is this is how I get. This is how I get my favor. This is how I get excited when I see. I'm not gonna get emotional when I see no, little Jody thing. Ryan. Yeah. Who was the little knucklehead chubby boy mm -hmm. who had that left-handed jump shot? Mm -hmm. Who wanted more out of Indian River than it gave him? Mm -hmm. To be honest, right? Real, he wanted right. more. Out of, you wanted to be on that team, yes, sir. Rocking the roster, yes, sir. You probably had dreams scoring at least. Let me score twelve one game or whatever, yes, sir. But guess what? These kids now, when that, a dream is deferred, mm -hmm. they kind of. Stop dreaming right. anything else. Right. And then they let their life become a nightmare. Right. You said, okay, that didn't work. Let me get on this grind. Let me work. Let me find this platform. Right. And people should support this because, I mean, why wouldn't they? Right, right, right. You ain't out here selling no weight. Right, right. No illegal weight. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Why wouldn't they? But when you're yeah. doing something good, that's what they like. Yeah. You but know. let you go do a bid. And everybody want to put some money in your bid. Niggas jumping at it and sharing yeah. my posts and that. Yeah. 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 Want to get buy your sneakers for you to wear yeah. in prison. Yeah. But you trying to do something not to be in prison. They like, yeah, he all right. Take some time to get behind that. Yeah. 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 It's going to turn this time, man. Like, and, and, you know, we did some shit. We just started for real for it, too. So I just know we got to do our due diligence as well. You know what I mean? And all that will come. And I just appreciate, you know what I mean, you saying that, you know, because, like I said, you always been a big inspiration in my life, you know what I mean, especially yeah. all the guys, man, all the guys, like, to this day, I talked to Mike Bond and Drayvon, Drayvon come over here, like, you was, you, Frank, Joe, like, you, even Joe, the way he coached, the way he, it's you, I can't tell Joe about no other coach, you know what I'm saying? No it's disrespect. You. you know what I mean? Joe calls me, you sleep. Yeah, yeah, Right yeah, now, yeah. I mean, you sleep. Yeah. We chop yeah. it up. Yeah. About his next game. Yeah. Yeah. What are you gonna do? And I'll put this on the air. Joe, Joe should have been the next head coach oh, in the River High that. School. We already Mike know Bynum, that. Somebody, either, either. That dude, that dude, uh, and Mike Bynum. Mike Bynum's there working his tail off. And you tell me, promised him the come on, man. the the come the, on, man. the peace. And then all of a sudden, change midstream. See, that's ambition. Mm. The disloyal ambition. This should have hurt your ass. You see what I'm saying? Like you said it. You see what I'm saying? You said it hurt. Y'all gonna remember that? There's two types of ambition: lawyer ambition. And disloyal, and disloyal ambition. ambition. Ah, I take that. And that disloyal that ambition, I'll take everything you got to give me, and then jump in the car and leave your tail. Damn right, and don't give a fuck. And you be like, where the hell he going? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get this, but that loyal ambition, they could be shooting at us. I'm like, 
Tyler. Yeah, yeah. Jody, come on. Let's go. Let's get Hurry up. Let's get out of here. Yeah. I'm not gone till you end. Right. Right. Even if I get hit here, let's go. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm using. That's what I grew up with. That shit real, yeah. man. And, it, and, and, and it, it shows in your life. It shows in your life. And you know I'm doing something else. You know I got to have you come back, man. I can't, you know, I can't. Good, man? Oh, we going to do something else. Me and you on this show? Yeah, we're going to do something else. I got to have you come back. I got round table discussions. I might have you come back oh, with a couple. Oh, it's clean. I thought you were about to have a strip pod. Nah, we, oh, nah, nah, we'll do that. I was like, I'm coming in. Hey, you bring that goddamn powder. You bring that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we do that yeah. shit. Yeah, but. Oh, what a round table. I'm with oh, that with the yeah. nights, huh? Yeah, we're going to yeah. do it. Yeah, I we're going to do it. We're going to do it. This is this, just the beginning. You yeah. know what I mean? I appreciate you coming on my show. Uh, I had to have you. The first coach. I had to make you the first coach. You know what I mean? I got a plenty of them lined up, but you, I had to come to you first. Just want to say thank you for being the man you are, bro. We need you. We, can, you know. Can I, can I say this? Last yeah. thing I'm gonna say. Every area, Chesapeake, y'all have talent. Yes. Y'all have talent. Definitely. Just stick together. Just Definitely. take it to that one school and ball out. You ain't gotta be spring. You ain't gotta do it all by yourself, baby. You gonna see that as a group. You mm. gonna win more anyhow. Mm. We got some talent. Mm. There's some young boys. I'm not saying what's there right now, what? but there's some young boys that's probably playing AU that they ain't playing together. Mm-hmm. And eventually they're going to get spread out mm-hmm. and be all over the places and not going to be able to be that talent for any river. Any right. river could easily be a mecca. Oh, it's Come there. On, we could be pump, pumping it up. And, and just like, who was that that you had up there? I'm going to let you go. Antoine Page. Yeah. I think he said it. It's like, 52 AAU teams now. <laughs> For what? For what? And to be honest, they're going to hate this. Some people have AAU teams because it's a fundraiser for them. Right. They collect Let's their money. Let's keep it real. They're collecting their money. They collect the money. They don't play nothing but the state tournament, then it's over. And done. But they don't return none of that money. None. That they said they was going to go this tournament, that tournament, that tournament. Come on. Then some AAU teams are picked up because they got a child at play. Mm-hmm. And they decide, I'm going to get all this talent around my child and him. That's My it. child and the rest of them. That's it. But he gonna be the focal point. Yeah. He's gonna be the point guard of the center. Yeah, yeah. And then he gonna just build around that and coach him all the way up, coach all the way up, till he can make sure he get him a scholarship. You if y'all get one shit. too, then that's, and that's okay. what it is. But we watching this boy. But this we watching boy. that boy. And then you got the third AU team, which is like Boo Williams, Team Loaded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah Frank, yeah. I like Frank. The Knights, Northern Knights. Yeah. yeah, he loyal to what right. he do. Right, and he care about the kids. He care about the kids. That. He care about the kids. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you like, why everybody had to get a team? Why? What's what's that about? Mm. Yeah, and then you started having YBOA. You don't hear nothing about that for real now, right? Mm. Mm. You remember that? Yeah. If you're not good enough to play AAU, what why the they had to create YBOA? Think? What the hell? <laughs> Y B O A orange team yeah, you're and just all trying that. To get, yeah, yeah. A dude came to me one day and said, "I won a championship with the orange team." I said, "Who is are this they? karate?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, what is this? Oh, yeah. yeah, this ain't. He, he said, and then he got on the court, couldn't play a lick, and then he transferred and went to Oscar Smith, and they put him on the team, but he ain't play a lick. Yeah, right, okay? right. You just but he yeah. could pay his money. And that's what we need. That's what we need from you. Yeah, yeah. So these kids got to they'll learn. They'll learn. And Dylan. you refereeing and all that. I see the I game. Get, you give it to him. I guarantee you give him the game. I got you, it. you got to start doing when the game is over. You can say, come a little fella. Yeah, I, I, I let him know. I let him know. Please Look, do it. Don't do that. I'll tell him, hey, man, I'm going to call this. This is why I'm doing that. This is why I'm calling that. You need to do it like this. Traveling, I ain't going for it. Y'all too old for that shit. I love it. Yeah, we ain't, yeah. Y'all going to play sure, the right you way. You sound like maybe you get in that culture around. I might get in there and help Joe, man. Think about oh, it. Man. Think about it, man. Think about jumping in there. Definitely. Because you got that eye. You got that eye yeah, of oh, yeah, You can yeah, be yeah. like, he ain't gonna help you tonight. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. like, yo, try him. him? He can do yeah, something. let him get something. That's why. I, that's why I told Joe. I said, yeah, you need to let me. So we go. Yeah, that's gonna happen. We we'll be at now. I'm gonna say this on air because because t- Jody Ryan. Yeah. All y'all that got cut, that's Jody Ryan's fault. <laughs> I, I'm I telling told, y'all now. I gave him the inside. He sat school. on that table, and I'd be like, I don't know. He I right. and he leaned over. <laughs> He ain't gonna be able to help you, coach. Yeah, I tell you that. That nigga there, nah. He ain't gonna be able to help you. me. And he's so cold blooded, he would even get on Joe. I tell him, he's being boy. lazy right now, man. I tell him. Get your lazy butt down the court, man. I tell him, dog. I tell Did him. Did you tell him? Oh, I love him. That's guys. why you're friends. Yeah, you know what? Because friends can tell you the truth. Yeah, you don't feel yeah, forsaken, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got to do it. Yep. This been another episode, man, of Homage to Hoops, man. It's been a good one. We had fun on this one, man. So I love it. Can't wait for this to drop. Y'all tune in more with us, man. That must achieve greatness presents. How much the hoops? Support this guy, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate right. you, brother. All right. Yes, sir. All right. Appreciate much all of y'all.
came to me. We were like, young. We were young. We ain't no no better adolescents, you know. As we grew, now it's grown to something bigger. And I love it, and I can respect it. Now we all just entrepreneurs and trying to build our brand. MAG is it's a brand, you know. Yeah, the acronym Muscle Chief Greatness. Striving for greatness. King shit.